Fighting is a choice. Make yours. I'm into survival. What, what, what's up survivors? Welcome to D180. Come for the horror, stay for a ride. With AJ, John A and Brittany. And it's a dramatic pause. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think she knows what to say at the time. And she, I thought she, I don't know what she was going to say. I was like, yeah, it's going to be all nice and then Brittany is going to take us home and we just going to go higher. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't I didn't know what the fuck to say. I was gonna be like, but fuck it. <laughs> what this you movie? know what? Hey, hey, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I've seen this movie before. She didn't know what the fuck to do because she's a fucking imposter. <laughs> are you sure I'm a po- are you sure I'm an imposter? Or is it is it just Britney? Because I feel like Britney be kind of confused eight eight out of ten. Or are times. you assimilating? <laughs> Hold on, wait. Maslow, what the fuck is your fat ass doing? No, it's still me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Mm. <laughs> I guess we'll find out who's real by the end of this. Exactly. There is five of us, so. Mm. Yeah. I, mm. I, know, I was thinking that, and you guys are probably thinking like, um, hold up, wait a minute, time out. <laughs> who's that? Who's that? This was planned. <laughs> for this a movie for our January Put your damn theme. fingers down. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna mess up? I'm trying to bring in the theme, bring in the guests. Sorry. You just gonna mess me. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the distraction over there. The imposter over there. The straggler. <laughs> Look. She didn't respond. She's an imposter. She didn't. <laughs> no, no. Because anytime you call Britney the straggler, she responds. She didn't respond. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at that. That is wow. Kick her out the call. Kick her out the call right now. <laughs> I thought Brittany was going to do some Laura Barnes shit. But anyway, following in line with our December theme. There's an imposter among us. We have a special guest in the building. We have Re and Ace from Dank and Deadly. Hey, y'all. Huh. Hello. Hey, thank you for having me. Oh, definitely not a problem. It, first of all, my dumb self, I was like, oh, they've been here before. No, you haven't. <laughs> yeah. Y'all have been on ours. Which Twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, no, 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 no. This is their first <laughs> time in the park. And because it's your. Oh, Welcome my bad. Let me let my tour guide do their things. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. All right. You guys get back. Get back. Thank you. Anyway. Um, tell us. <laughs> tell us <laughs> survivors where they can find you. Uh, you can find us, like our podcast, pretty much anywhere you stream, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all those places. We are through Anchor, so anywhere Anchor anchors itself. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> exactly. We love Anchor around here. Um, uh, and you can find us on social medias, um, on Instagram at dankdeadly underscore pod and on Twitter at dank the letter in deadly underscore pod yeah so right around there and if you want to follow me i'm bloodied b-l-k-g-w-r-l on twitter too <laughs> you can find me at ace underscore the mangler if you want to find me on twitter <laughs> okay the mangler never, but mostly <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying I love you guys' intro. That's actually the um, anchor intro. And I think, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. like, is we rolling up or what? And then the phone rings. I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I be in the gym. Usually when you guys drop 
either I'm at work or I'm at the gym when I'm usually listening to the episode. So if you want to too, and I know it's going to be late. So make sure y'all check the show notes to get all of their info. But before we go any further, I know Brittany has been dying to say her lines. It is just in her eyes. I'm a lady. Okay. Yes, Brittany. You can keep up with us on our socials at D180 Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. For early releases, join us on Patreon. All links can be found in the show notes below. You get it, girl. <laughs> that sounds so professional. Yeah, that was but... so beautiful. <laughs> For the um, first time. Podcast voice. <laughs> I'm proud of you, girl. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of myself for being able to follow prompts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I could not be reading. Like sometimes because she's I'll just an imposter. stumble. <laughs> it's because she's an imposter. Because Brittany never gets this right. She just constantly <laughs> proving she's the imposter. We found it. <laughs> it's one of us. So for this episode, I'm pretty sure everybody at home can't read, but you know, we're going to tell you anyway. We are covering 2018's Head Count. And this movie is currently streaming on Tubi, finally. A movie we're covering is actually streaming. Okay, so it's not only just streaming on Tubi. Where is it It's at? also Where's streaming it on Peacock, Shutter, Freebie, it's on Shutter? Rise, The mm-hmm. Roku Channel, Zumo, and Pluto TV. Wait, time out. Why am I acting like I'm surprised that it was on Shutter? And I know I'm <laughs> jumping in early, and I mean, we could go ahead and hash it out. <laughs> The first time I seen this was on Shutter, actually. Okay. You know, I think about it, yeah. Really? Mm. So I don't know why I was Shutter verified. Right. <laughs> I thought we bought it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> it should have. But it's everywhere. Yeah. As it should be. It's a really fun one. Very... So I do want to give, you know, before we get started and get all in the, the swing of things, <laughs> there is a main trigger for this movie, and that is... Absolutely. Unaliving. Yeah. Self unaliving. Absolutely. And that's the only one that I have. Yeah, yeah I think that's not a lot of gaslighting going around this bitch. That too. <laughs> <laughs> so if the gaslighting triggers you, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, with that being said, let's go right ahead and get into. <laughs> Park recommendations. I recommend this movie just as much as Britney recommends Cube for any other movie, okay? It's mm. this movie. What year did it come out? Actually, while I'm talking shit about Britney, sorry, girl. I need to have myself together, huh? Okay, so this movie came out in 2010. It's called Forget Me Not. I stumbled upon this movie way back, back then. And the thing about this one is, it's this movie, head count, but in reverse kind of i don't want to give too much away but instead of the friends like i don't know having copies (laughs) or whatever they're being like erased Mm. right Mm -hmm. so i highly recommend watching that so 2010s no 2009 excuse me forgive me not but it's on tubi and i'm probably about to watch it because Mm -hmm. i just uh, i love that movie Mm. I thought we were going to be in the same year, but we're not. Um, mm-hmm. So I was going to say 2010's The Ward. I love The Ward. We mm-hmm. talked about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. We got to do that someday. I don't know when, but mm-hmm. we definitely should. Do you guys have any recommendations for this movie that'll pair well with this movie? Um, I had a few actually. <laughs> sure, no, go for it. No, we love, like, usually we'll just do one because. Most of the time, our guests will be like, well, actually, I have a bag for you. (laughs) So I would recommend Look Away. It's the same year, 2018. It's about Mm -hmm. this girl who finds her evil twin in a mirror. That's like the shortest way Mm. that I can describe it. So it's kind of like, I mean, kind of. Sounds like us. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, kind of, sort of. It's sort of like that. There's definitely the tethered aspect and like it's a mirror. So obviously it's mm. about reflections and doubles and things like that. 
And then I had The Endless, which is 2017. And that one is just kind of like a similar feel as like being out in the desert and like weird things happening. Because it's about essentially this alien cult out in the desert. And they are essentially, these two brothers are going back to the cult because they were raised there just to like see what's up, check out, like see who's still alive, blah, 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 like go Mm. visit. And they get caught back up in the cult activities. But then, of course, it's like kind of like middle of the desert, weird occurrences around this. So kind of similar feel, but it doesn't really have the imposter thing. Um, and then I had one we watched semi-recently called Doppelganger. Oh, uh, yeah. Weird. I've heard weird. of that one. Yeah, from 1993. It has yeah. a freshly 18 Drew Barrymore in it. Very, <laughs> like I said, it's Doppelganger, so you mm-hmm. can kind of assume that it's going to be about lookalikes and people taking over people's lives and all this kind of stuff. But it was not what I was expecting at all, because... I was thinking single white female and it did not go that way at all. But it is absolutely yeah. about like imposters, people taking over other people's lives and just like that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, not very fun nineties feels with Drew Barrymore. Who we love. Uh, and then my last one is Dark Skies, because I feel like it's a very similar kind of premise but with aliens instead. <laughs> That's an Ashley zone. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that one's so good. No, <laughs> no, that one is probably the scariest. Like right below I saw I like right alongside Nope for me. Like those are the scariest alien movies. Like because they're so realistic about like what abduction could be like and that's terrifying. What's the scariest, <laughs> ma'am? This is a podcast. They can't see you. What's that? <laughs> No, I was wait. I was waiting for her to finish before I asked. Nope, was scary for you? Yes, but like, okay, but it's because. Okay, but wait, 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 wait. Ashley and Brittany have not, have not. <laughs> okay, I'm not about to spoil anything. Uh, it's just because of this lady. Like her, I've been watching her TikToks for like the last three years, two or three years, and her like whole TikTok is about chronicling the fact that her like the horse stable that she works at is like haunted. And so that's what I've been watching. So then to see that kind of like play out in Nope made me so uncomfortable. Like, (laughs) it's the whole like ranch thing that was like, I was like, no, this is Lady's TikTok and that's real life. So does she have aliens? Like, I was like. (laughs) Okay. So they ripped off her life. (laughs) Probably. Okay. (laughs) You can come back now. I'm gonna need y'all to f- watch Nope so you can finally. Talk. <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to watch it and then I don't. And don't no, I I'm just in my um, you know. I, I I'll be free. I'll be. Twenty twenty three. I'm gonna be free. I'm gonna watch it when Jose get back. I might not watch. Okay. It. I'm in lockdown oh, right now. My <laughs> watch. <laughs> <laughs> but survivors okay. if you have any park recommendations that fit today's ride let us know on our twitter or down in the dms it go down <laughs> if y'all new here sorry but i have not seen any movie this month that yeah so this was my first watch but Ooh. you know everyone else <laughs> please share love that um i have no idea I feel like we just found this randomly. It might have been on Tubi. It had to be on Tubi. I think it was on Tubi. I think we watched it. Just the one of the most random. Just <laughs> her, like, like we have this thing where we're just like scrolling through Tubi, click on something, go fuck it, and just <laughs> watch it. So this is probably what that. That's how we found Doppelganger. Um. So yeah, I feel like this was definitely a Tubi venture. It was a. It was a random watch and it was, was a treasure. Yeah, during quarantine, I think. Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't remember the first time I watched it because I know this, and I'm not 100% sure. I know it says 2018, but I think that's festival and it came out like to us the next year. I don't know. It don't matter. But I don't know. And when you guys said shutter earlier, I'm like, no, because I remember seeing the skull rating 
for head count on Shutter. So I'm like, I've had to have seen it on that. But it could have been a 2B watch. I don't know. I was on some hush shit, and I watched it, and I was happy. I was very happy <laughs> with this movie. Like, very impressed with this movie. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how I found this movie. I know I found it when... It had to have been last year, beginning of this... No, beginning of this year, because... I was looking for something. I just happened to find it. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. That's yeah, and those would be the best ones. I just... We be I putting think, y'all on yeah. survivors. We be really putting y'all on. Because we just be finding movies that like... You know? I just I like just, when any show... Like when you just find any movie that... Are just random little things. Dank and Deadly does it all the time. Like I just want to say... <laughs> sometimes when you find films... You're not happy with what you found. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. This Cause I'm pretty sure y'all are the only people I've seen even like acknowledge Bedeviled. So like I know y'all be on bedeviled. the same stuff. No, listen, yeah. I do like Bedeviled. That's just that's just <laughs> funny. Yes. It is. <laughs> I love it. This one is one of the films I put in the damn. I found you, and I'm glad I watched you. I don't want to watch you no more. <laughs> really? See, this movie, this is one of my gift movies. Like, this is a movie I'd love to, like, show somebody and be like, watch this movie. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But then I'll get mad if you turn away for, like, 0. 0.5 seconds. I'm going to get mad. Like, <laughs> You're missing it. Yes, because you missed it. This is, this is a movie that you do have to pay attention to. And I will say it for is. Sure. For some, I can understand how some people say maybe it's like a bit slow and nothing happens to the very end. But stuff is happening throughout the whole thing. You just really have to watch. You gotta watch. See, mm-hmm. now, Absolutely. That I would counter. Not the, you gotta watch. You do have to watch. I'd be like, mm-hmm. no, this, there, there's shit happening in the film. But it is literally, like you were saying, if you fuck up an answer of text message, you miss a bitch standing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like that. Yeah. And like stuff happens in the blink of an eye. Like that's the whole point. You're questioning what you're seeing. Mm-hmm. Like, except for that first one. I was like, that's not a cactus. Yeah, I don't know what she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck you mistake <laughs> glowing eyes for a cactus? <laughs> Bitch, get your eyes checked. You need glasses <laughs> like I do. Cactus has a hoodie on. Like, what do you like... think? <laughs> that's a. <laughs> that's a well dressed ass cactus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this movie was directed by L. Callahan. It was written by L. Callahan and Michael Nader. It stars Isaac J. as Evan, Ashley Morgan as Zoe, Bevan Brew as Camille. Now, I was standing at this girl this whole entire movie, and I'm like, who the fuck is this girl? Same. She, she <laughs> was in the CW's Batwoman as Batwoman's as a girlfriend. That's it. That don't feel like it though. It feel like you know her from something else. That's not, like you know. What I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm not saying. From. No, I'm not saying that. But you get what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, no, nah, it's something else. But I don't know what it is. Mm. Yeah, when I had looked up her discography, I was like, okay, yeah. That's because I, I yeah because I I was heavily watching Batwoman before it got canceled. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so. Sorry. <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> no, it, it Look, don't okay, that's what I was like, it, it got it kind of bad. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah. We have Billy Mead as Max, Hunter Peterson as Nico, Chelsea May as Vanessa, Tori Freeth as Tori, Michael Allen Herman as Sam, Amaka Obichi as Haley, Sam Mara as Brian, Cooper Rowe as Peyton, and Riley Scott as Cass. I don't know mm-hmm. who Cass is, but I think that was a friend he dropped off. Oh, okay. like at the cruise, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> the cinematography was done by Sean Bagley. It was edited by Nick Gardner Wright. Music by Hannah Parrott, and the production company is Godmother Industries. Now I have to give it up to the editor and whoever did the effects because y'all went off yeah <laughs> this but this could be a low-key film not a really big i don't know what the budget is but it's not a big it's not one of them okay this is this is like terrifying this ain't one of them um right. they did that <laughs> i have to be very honest it was some effects that i was like Ooh, we could have deal without this and we'll get to that later but for the most part i yeah. like it I can but i sent you all three posters 
because y'all know how we do here. We got to look at these posters. So this very first one, I absolutely love this. It falls right in line with our theme this month. Um, this is the mm -hmm. first one where uh, it's just the head count, but it's the mirror image at the top. You see the game, but you see Tori in the corner. And then at the bottom, you don't see Tori at all. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. yep, yep. Really alluding to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just, but still, and it's just like, well, first of all, that bitch Tori. I'll get to her later. Anyway. <laughs> because, it, no, I'm not going to start. I'm not going to start. <laughs> but no, I really dig this poster because still obviously it's pretty on the nose but it's not i don't know mm -hmm. if that makes sense like obviously the movie title head count but you see one is missing you don't know if it's a slasher you don't know what type of movie this is based off this poster and i love stuff like that it's a surprise right and she's looking at them no one else is looking like at her mm -hmm. so it's like is exactly. she the villain is she mm -hmm. <laughs> like... they ain't got shit to do with her <laughs> <Kinda>. <laughs> The second poster, I like this one because we were just talking about this. Like, do you need your eyes checked? That is not a cactus. <laughs> and then this, well, is, also, this is the artwork that's on the um, the cover. Like mm -hmm. when you bring up headcount on crime. The one with the, them in the jacuzzi? Yeah, this is mm -hmm. the poster. The one that has them at the jacu in the jacuzzi at the top, but like the cactuses at the bottom. Baby, I've seen this cartoon show before. I know that Return to Slab episode. You're not about to get me. What the <laughs> That's exactly what the... Y'all don't get the Return to Slab vibe. Yeah, from it does. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. I don't like that at all. And that's exactly... I'll come back to it and say it again because I know how some of y'all little shady ones out there like to skip around. But I remember that scene when I watched that on Courage the Cowardly Dog. I didn't like that. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, no, that was scary. And if you, said you wasn't, if you said you was not scared of that episode, if you did not go to bed after watching that episode and was not a little bit scared that that thing was going to be like in your bed way or something like that, you're fucking lying. You're lying. Oh, well, I'm not lying. I was not scared of that thing. I you're was lying. Not. Curse the Cowley Dog was my shit every it time. It was mine too, but. It's a few but, of them things that I was like, I could have deal without that. The, the, only thing that <laughs> the only one that creeped me out was the fucking barber one. Yeah. Bring your friends a real When he, when he, left, his, when he no, left his ass dang. in the bathroom, I was when, I was like, how could y'all not get this dog out the bathroom? Oh my fucking God. Like that, no, one, had like, me, that one had me gone. Now all the rest, no. they could actually put food and shit under the door, but they couldn't get the dog out. <laughs> I like the one that they um, had George A. Romero and somebody else like buried in the basement. Oh, yeah, the parodies, Vincent oh. Tarantella, and they were like trying to make the, yeah. Uh -huh. The scary movie. They were trying to make the scary movie. And they, that's what I love. Watching Courage as an adult was so much different. Like, mm -hmm. it, first of all, the Freaky Fred one is even scarier now because you know what that's about. Yeah. Like, at, like that shit freaks me the fuck out. But, like, yeah, even that one, seeing the parody of like directors that we know, like, is like, funny. <laughs> we so don't care to carry already dog episode. <laughs> right. <laughs> it just makes me wonder, like, um, the director, I'm like, are you a Courage fan? Because was that the motivation behind this image here? This scene? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, of course, can see all of Headcount's posters on our Instagram. But without further ado, I am very excited to get through this queue line because I got a treat. Yeah. Well, John A has a treat. <laughs> Brittany got a treat, and Pasta Brittany got a treat. So, um, let's go. Step in line. Your number is near. Follow the signs. Your time is here. This game, quote unquote, this week is courtesy. Cur I can't talk. It's courtesy of our imposter, Brittany. Okay? I cannot come up with a game. And she was like, you know what? Why don't we tell two sentence horror stories? Because she's an imposter. Imposter. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, Ashley says that we should take turns, but Ashley said that she's not participating though. She said she's being the yeah, judge. Yeah, because why the hell? Yeah. Okay, so let me, let me, I got you, sis. <laughs> Brittany and John A are going to tell two minute horror stories. Two minute? Send it. 
Oh, two centuries. Sorry. 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 <laughs> two centuries. Excuse, Excuse me. Well, sure. I, Re and Ace, be the judge of what was scary and what was not scary. So, mm. who would like okay. to go first? I don't have a coin. Brittany's going first since oh. it was her idea. Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> Your turn. That's not fair. I don't want to go first. Y'all always make me go first. It was your idea. Hashtag justice for Britney. They keep bullying me. I don't know why. Girl. You had two hours to prepare. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And okay. it was your idea. Right. It was a suggestion. It was just a suggestion. Y'all know this shoot me down. Y'all know this shoot me the fuck down. I didn't so, think you was gonna make it. All the protesting, it. all oh, the protesting no. she does, and when we grant her wishes, this is what she does. So, and y'all still want us to free Britney? Y'all still want us to listen? <laughs> yes, yes, they do. Okay, fine. <laughs> fuck it. We don't free Britney. Britney will give her story begrudgingly. All right. Okay. Okay. Y'all ready? Hold on. Wait. Turn my yeah, stuff up for this shit. Ahead. Ready? <laughs> no, she did not turn the light off. the candle around. Light girl. That no, Y'all didn't pay attention to this. Y'all didn't pay attention to this before. Y'all didn't see when I lit the candle. I no, I saw, I saw when you candle. lit the candle. I've been waiting no, for that this moment. That was magic. I didn't see that shit. <laughs> I didn't see it. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. You stalling? Nope. Yes. <laughs> no, you stalling? Yeah. <laughs> She smiled happily as she said it was an old family recipe while I struggled helplessly against the ropes. Okay, okay. Wait, Damn. Damn. that was good, Brittany. Damn. That was good. Very nice. Had a whole scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. had a whole scene. It. Yeah, good job. Pull it down. <laughs> Let's see. Which one am I going to pick? Um, go to readthisshit.com. I am not going to any suggested websites. We saw how that turned out for people in the goddamn movie. I could have just told my own scary, scary story for that. I was never going to read somebody else's. <laughs> okay, because why would you do that? And, and why, like, why would you not like glance and read through the story before you actually read it? You right. just read the first. Uh, <laughs> stop like halfway through. What? <laughs> okay. This is not really. I don't know if this is really scary. I have a few. One was specifically for Ashley, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let her be today. I'm gonna let her be. <laughs> what did I do to you? Okay. Tired of causing pain to those around him, <laughs> Peter jumped from the rooftop in a bid to end his own life. He soon found himself on the sidewalk below, still very much alive, with the crushed body of a little girl beneath him. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> 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 you just start laughing. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> That's, That's the way to question the blow right there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Why did you go so mad? It was so funny to visualize it. <laughs> <laughs> visualize. Girl. That's messed up. And poor child. Uh, but, I mean, he also like didn't get his wish and caused more pain. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it got to be like old buddy from Devil. You got to go higher up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, this is the one that I was going to read to scare Ashley. Oh, my God. Okay. I can't move, <laughs> breathe, speak, or hear, and it's so dark all the time. No, if I, I don't want to be buried alive. Only, I would have been cremated instead. No, <laughs> I did see, and I knew. It. I knew. It. I knew it. She didn't even have to finish. Because, fuck, no. You are. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. When it, Whenever is my time, Lord, let that be forever, forever, and away from now. Um... Do not put me in a damn coffin and put me in the goddamn ground. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't throw me in the incinerator and put me in a necklace and put me on display, 
<laughs> yeah, <That's man>. sucks. <laughs> like I don't know put me in a vibe it's like <clears throat> make a pose to like I don't know like the ground <laughs> <laughs> whereas what did y'all see VHS 1999? Did y'all see that? No. I haven't seen it yet. No. Yeah, I did. No. 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 I will come fuck everybody's shit up. Right now. Right <laughs> Even if you didn't have anything to do with it. Okay. Because you knew. Because you heard me say it. I'm gonna pinch you at least, like. <laughs> at least. Poltergeist activity or a pinch. All right, I got another one. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, one more. Okay, one more. Come on. Put back the mirrors. We miss watching you. Stop that. This is why you don't see. That's for you. Okay. Because no. No mirrors. Uh-uh. I don't have no mirrors in my room because of you. <laughs> Brandon has one in his room, but the thing about it is if he um, put his TV in front of the mirror, so I can't even see the mirror. So I forget that there's one there all the time because his TV mm. completely covers it. Yeah, I bet the spirits be fucking their shit up trying to get through there, be running into the TV like shit. <laughs> Like, oh fuck! I'm going back. Well, speaking of, it's our time. Let's get into 2018's head count. Really glad you came out here, man. You know it's not as uh, fun as partying it up in the dorms. I'm Zoe. I'm I'm Evan. <laughs> so what are you guys doing now? We're headed back to the place where we're staying, I guess. You should come back with us. It'll be fun. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. Hello? What happened? Nothing. We thought we saw somebody. There's definitely something strange going on here. Have you been feeling off or different lately? It was like I was a passenger in my own body. I know this sounds insane, but I, I think I started something. Summoned something. I don't know why, but this thing has it in for groups of five. One. Two. Three. Four. Y'all didn't say who did better. Y'all said y'all are gonna. <laughs> y'all are gonna. Uh, be, we y'all just not judge. I thought we were just judging if we liked it, girl. Why are you making everything a competition? <laughs> <laughs> it's who I am. Now, like I said, sit your Leo ass down. <laughs> put your seatbelt on. Put your hands and feet inside of the ride, and let's go. <laughs> All right. She said, put her hands and feet inside of the ride. Listen, we, we still left you, but we left a couple lives. toes. Okay. Because we ain't got no type of insurance in this park. So we you don't. Gotta... You know, I was told. Y'all messed up. Y'all messed up, messed up, messed up my story. I told that to Brittany multiple times that we were in Panama. I said, girl, we do not have, I do not have insurance. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go home in one piece. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting no type of benefits from this bitch. <laughs> 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 I mean, look, working here is something else. But <laughs> we good. Jesus. Y'all know what TLC was going through? That's us. No, just... <laughs> that was too far. Yeah. Was too... Damn, who's setting two house on fire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. I, I know I would. Nigga, you ain't got me no shoes. 
You didn't get me no shoes. You already been running around with all these bitches. You, ha- I found a bitch in your closet. Damn. In your closet. Yeah, not in the closet. With pink tights on. <laughs> and the, you couldn't buy me no shoes. <laughs> I would have fucked his shit up too. Can't even dress. And to be <laughs> fair, my good sis was really just trying to burn the shoes. She just was in a dance <laughs> by the flames. And the house is just on fire all of a sudden. Ha- it happens I don't blame sometimes. her. I don't blame her. Lisa, girl, you know I got your back. You know what it is. <laughs> and say something about it. Tell me she was wrong because she wasn't. Nah. Uh, I'm, pretty sure. the house. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure he did more than that. And she was probably mad about that too. My, okay, look, look, because I could go on. I'm not, but I could go on because Andre, Monet ass, just know. <laughs> Behind Lisa. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So. <laughs> About this trailer. I liked yeah. it. Because I once again, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Was it a slasher? Is it a mystery? What type of movie is this? I mm, like yeah. the trailer better than I like the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, okay. No, no, no. Let me time out. I, I Because usually John may be doing this thing where she just don't say nothing at all to the very end. I'm just happy you say it now because now we can discuss why we having this discussion why you don't like this. Because why? And I don't care that you don't like it. I just be wanting to know why. I be wanting to know what's on your mind. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I don't what's know. It's like when you when you finish a movie and you just like you're just like oh, okay. Don't so, feel nothing. Yeah, <laughs> don't yeah, feel yeah that's how I felt. Yeah. One thing about the trailer, I will say though, is that there was a pool scene, but there was no pool in the scene in the movie. Yeah, where's the pool at? There was a pool at the villa. I no. miss it. I miss but I'm it. saying in the tra- but in the trailer okay. there was like a pool scene, like somebody oh, was they floating did have in a the jacuzzi. pool. No, that was, that, a, was it. that was a whole pool. Yeah, because I'm like you can't float in a damn jacuzzi. <laughs> and I'm no. just trying to figure out why I didn't see a pool in the movie. Like <laughs> you know they be cutting stuff out. I didn't even notice it. Now I gotta watch it again. Yeah, didn't it. either. Is there a director's cut? Like, right. Okay. Release that. That's what I found. <laughs> there should be. I like the trailer. Usually, I like have never encountered a trailer for this movie. Like, right. Yeah. Same. But, <laughs> that wasn't bad. Didn't give too much away. Yeah. But, like, you know, just. I like, like it. It's one of the better trailers that we've seen mm-hmm. in our yeah. time here mm-hmm. at the park. I'm waiting till we get into it? this movie because I got, I got, I got something to show. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I, I do too. I just don't know how we about to. Okay, 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 okay. Go okay, ahead, okay, girl, because okay. I'm just ready. To... All right. So the movie starts out with a description of what the entity, quote unquote, is in the movie. So after, I'm going to say it once. After that, I'm a, I give it a nickname, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> So it says a his G is a vengeful thing. Five times its name you never sing with skin pale white and eyes of green is something you've already seen. So from now on, I'm calling it a HJ. Okay. okay. Oh, I call okay. it a hisman in my notes. Oh, a hiss- a hiss- <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I mean, it does sound like a little rattlesnake. You know? It do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then after you see this little inscription on the screen, boom, we see a pale white dude. I was like, eyes. it's you. Right. <laughs> dropping his friends off at the cruise port before he heads to Joshua Tree to spend spring break with his brother who refuses to answer the phone and check voicemails. Okay. Uh-huh. Annoying. You know I'm coming. Right. Why you ain't answering the phone? Right. No, I know you coming, so I gotta answer the phone. You, I ain't moved because you I don't. Say I can be that. coming <laughs> earlier. I could be coming earlier. I could get a flat go- tire. I'm Something's gonna house. happen to me. Hey, that's your fault. I already when said I was gonna walked, be in the house. <laughs> when he walked in, he said, "If you're watching porn in there again." So I think that's why he called because he doesn't want to walk in. On okay, him he doing like some you shit. need to whatever you got going on. You need to walk it up. <laughs> <laughs> See, this lets me know I need not to visit Brittany in the sticks. Okay. Because if I'm driving out there and something happened and she don't answer the phone, well, you should have been prepared. No, want, bitch. Girl, I'm coming to visit you. Ain't you ain't about to have no <laughs> come visit you. First of all, I would never ask y'all to come visit me in the sticks because why the fuck would you come here? 
Only reason y'all should <laughs> only reason y'all should come here is that when I graduate. That should be the old and even then I'm gonna send y'all a fucking link so y'all can come virtually. Like I ain't gonna ask you <laughs> ain't shit to do come here. <laughs> My life thanks you. Ain't shit to do here. Like at all. We can't even go bowling. <laughs> Damn. Damn, there's always a bowling alley in the country. No, no ma'am. That bitch closed <laughs> when, when the owner died and they sold it and made a gym. Well, they have Y'all a even got a pool hall? <laughs> billiards? No. No? Okay. Uh, there's a billiards place, but I don't think you want to go there because it always screams racism. Mm, I can see that. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing we could do besides eat. <laughs> and go back to the bad. room. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> At least y'all got a Starbucks. That's all we got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just kind of like eating, but like drinking. Starbies. <laughs> we can go to Aldi. Oh. I love Aldi. Okay. 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 Running errands is fun. Yeah. We can Maybe be. I got fresh groceries. We can be domesticated, but that you can't do nothing adventurous. No. <laughs> domesticated. Okay, segue because this is getting sad about a moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Evan arrives at his brother Peyton's trailer to find him deep in meditation. Evan chooses to go on a hike since, you know, the other options that Peyton provided once he get there was too spiritual. You want to take him. a sound bath? That's exactly yeah. what I was going to say because that sound bath sounded fun as fuck. I would have okay, been all... Yeah. Oh. Listen, y'all See, understand... Because if I was lit, if I was high, I would have been like... <laughs> but he said the sound bath makes me home, but up. I just would have been like... <laughs> I mean, he said the sound bath does make you fucked up, though. Exactly. But in a good way. But see, in a good me, way. <laughs> me, when I do things, y'all know you know how I am. Brittany, you too. You hung out with me in person. Like, before I do stuff, I just like to already be up there until I get this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm a motherfucking party, all right? Exactly. If you, t- if you tell me. There's another way for me to just go up. Johnny, Johnny, who would you rather? Who would you rather deal with? Drunk me or Brittany? <laughs> you? Because Brittany already told us her drunk stories, and I, we, I would never. I, I forget Brittany don't drink anyway. <laughs> so wait, no. so but wait. She, told, she would rather. Us, wow, but, Brittany, that's crazy. She would rather deal with me drunk than you in a normal state. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy what were you doing down there i didn't, I didn't do it wait Chana, you'd rather <laughs> deal you'd rather deal with a drunk ashley than a normal britney a drunk ashley really isn't that bad a normal britney's that bad child you would do a cartwheels in the middle of the hallway every single night it was I fun you know, <laughs> on the cartwheel you almost kicked me in the fucking head you yeah. I didn't know where you was, okay? Maybe you should have ducked. Maybe you should have ducked, okay? I told you what I was gonna do. You see me. And we told you not to. We said to take off them shoes. We are going to the room. I did go to the room. After taking yeah. off the shoes. <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> now, um, can I tell y'all something that blew my mood? In this movie, when Evan and his brother go hiking and they stumble upon this group of other college students, I guess, I don't know. Who the fuck put that damn wig on Zoe's head? Thank God! Thank God you said it! Oh my God, thank yeah. you! Thank you! Okay, because thank I, you. I really said the black girl with the bad wig. Okay? John A. Wait, oh, John let, me, let me find my note. While you do that, Brittany, while you do that, Brittany, give me one second, please. John A. <laughs> Um, if you would love to help me take everyone down a trip down memory lane, back to season two, our December theme, which might have been our third <laughs> movie of the season, maybe our fourth, I don't fucking know. Wrong turn four. Our good sis Sarah. That also had a fucked up wig. Mm-hmm. What's the problem? What is why do y'all <laughs> keep doing this? It's offensive. Up, Stop it's it. It's offensive. <laughs> no, it's it's offensive. One of the worst. <laughs> one of the worst wigs I've ever seen. Like, like that way back so there. Funny. But like how? But like she, she. I'm pretty sure she already has. Like she has her head shaved. So all you had to do too. was and the, and the position bad thing the wig. It reminded me of a wig that my grandma used to wear. Rest in peace, I love her dearly. Uh-uh, but like, uh-uh. it really reminded me of a wig that she used to wear. It, uh-uh. Not loose curly, but she had like the tight curls. Right. But it, 
it reminded me of a wig she used to wear it and just reminded me of like, like a, a drama department wrong. wig for middle and high school like <laughs> you was just saying you just throw something on you real quick like no. Like a costume wig, like it actively looks like a wig they got. At we couldn't just the... give her box braids. We couldn't. Do, I don't know. I mean, you see, like Haley him. had natural hair. Haley yes, and that, and exactly. see, at first I was thinking like maybe they were. I don't know that. I don't know how I tried to defend this. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> you know I what? Attack. I can't Sometimes, defend I don't this. Know. You shouldn't be reaching like it. that. Because all right, survivors, <laughs> if you want a good ass example on the head count trailer. Go to 57 seconds. Stop Pause it. that shit. <laughs> and then right there. Right there is the atrocity. Because you see, not only do you see the edge of it, you like you see it sitting up on the back of her head like a little yes. crown. The crown. That is what I don't get yes. because she has like no that she already doesn't have hair for it to pile on like so like, what why is it bunched like, like, like that? Like, exactly. <laughs> She like, like really one of them heads. Heads. It could have literally just been her natural, no hair, beautiful self. Uh-huh. Like, who get? Why does she need a wig? Why does she need it? Why does she need this wig? Is the question. Why does she need this one? Because y'all need your ass beat. Because now I think it's right. a Tyler. I now think it's a Tyler Perry production. I think he <laughs> oh, has decided to oh get into it. Oh my god! <laughs> Honestly, Tyler Perry looks like that man. <laughs> I know you lying. Me. No, compared to this, is the only compared to this, <laughs> <laughs> compared a fall, to this, a fall yeah. for great, a fall from grace is entered the chat. I they could have yeah. that. Me and John A, we out the checks. We ain't see that. Yeah, but I, I no, ain't seen yes. the movie either. I just seen the picture of the wig, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch Tyler Perry movies. <laughs> no, as you shouldn't. I mean, as you should to support black creators, but as you shouldn't if you like quality. <laughs> Holy shit. I watched uh, him before he like became whatever this is now. I liked his plays. That was before he became this. <laughs> but they'd rather put a bad wig on her than just her wearing her natural hair. It's yeah. like pretty weird. Right. I don't know. But is there a professional I'm- in the <laughs> like stylist said, like there's no way I'm to like, just what let you, this slide. I'm like, girl, you didn't have no reservations about this. Like, you really just was like, they, <laughs> y'all, y'all, I got an excuse. Hold on, they used all of their budget making the two to three times we saw the history. <laughs> HJ, all the I said thanks. Hisman. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, those reveals. That's why I also like low key spoiler alert for Dark Skies, but those reveals were very interesting. Mm. And the reveals in Dark Skies are also interesting. <laughs> also, my next thing about her meeting them, don't invite me to join y'all little session if that's what you're rolling up. Did y'all see them <laughs> tiny ass J's that they had? <laughs> I was like, they were using papers. I mean, yeah. I use papers and man don't look like that. Don't do that. It's a difference between like our papers and white people papers. White people I'm papers like, like mine at least look like my index. What is this thing? My ring finger. Like <laughs> theirs, <laughs> theirs yeah. looked like the string to my. Uh, it it was yeah. It, was, it, it, it just wasn't enough. It was like this. It just no, they, it wasn't. They was holding. They it like, like this. the they raw like, papers. So you know the raw papers only be like but so big. Like they don't be that big. That's what I use. No, let me go ahead. I will and show you one of mine later. I can <laughs> I cannot show you right now. I'll show you man later. Man will be looking like that. The Y'all small. just don't know how to pack and roll. That's what that tells me, and that tells me you do not. <laughs> We do no <laughs> no extra heads need to be on this. We don't need to puff puff ass shit. You need to keep that oh to yourself. We don't. <laughs> Listen, the ones we got at that damn dinner, they were bigger than those, and those were the take home ones. Exactly, and that's yes. Oh, I was like, what dinner? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. The dinner here. And mine a- look like those. And sometimes a little bigger. That dinner was forgettable. If I bought a longer one, girl. <laughs> that dinner was a disgrace. But I came up that night. I'm just going to tell y'all, because I don't know if I've ever told this story. And Dank and Daily, you guys are the perfect guests. I'm glad you just yeah. hit that. Enjoy the story. Okay. So we all went to Vegas. Okay. You know, Vegas is a fun time. It's an adult playground. We love it. Okay. So we in Vegas, we decided to do an infused dinner. Boy, were we fucking wrong. Mind you, none of my stuff was infused, but... None of the food was infused. Except, mm-hmm. except... I do think that that one salad dressing, Janae, I think that 
was infused because it had I, a little twinge know. to it. But because I had they tried to do infused things. Oh, you did, <laughs> you did, you did. What they tried to do was they tried to like pass out little pre rolls beforehand. And then pass out the food. But where they fucked up is they didn't mm. have all the food ready. So they was actively making the food while we was there. So they kept passing out pre-rolls. <laughs> I'm like, between every day. I'm like, this the is dinner not ended up being like four hours. Yes, long the as dinner shit. was four was like, hours. Long. <laughs> long. Because four hour dinner. Yeah, it was long as shit because of the fact that like the food wasn't ready. Then it was like. They pulled out dabs. Like. What they was basically doing was they was just feeding us, but they was getting us high as yeah. they was feeding us. So then and what the happened food wasn't was, even all that great. It was not. They fucked me over, y'all. Let me tell you what the fuck they did to me. So my dumb ass thought it was smart because we're in Vegas. Scary. No, let me. <laughs> no, Brittany. What well, you got to let me tell I'm going to let you tell your version. I'll let you tell your version. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I'm going to let survivors hear this too. So be careful with your words. Wait, they, <laughs> they let me I, my dumb ass was sitting there waiting for so long that I got bored enough and I was like, let me take a hit. So I went and took now, out. now, mind you, Brittany don't do this. Brittany don't do this. So Why did she hit the dab machine? And the dab. Damn. Yes, I, did. I hit it like a pro, but I would cough like a bitch. I was like, <laughs> she, okay, My smoker's so look, cough. So she saw me do it. And the, you know how they be like, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Okay. Yeah. I said, Brittany, don't keep pulling. I said, as soon as you hit it, let it go. Girl, she just kept going and kept going. This girl ass was, you see her ass already big. They was 20 times that throughout the rest of the dinner. She was silent as a bitch. She, but I, thought, she, she thought her life was over. Her soul astral projected from her damn body. We can't hear you. That's exactly how it was. That's how it was for her. That's exactly how it was. She thought she was doing something. It came back. She wasn't, from the oh she wasn't doing yeah. shit. Like, the fucked up part is, I had non infused. They didn't give me my fucking meal. Talking about well, you, you had you changed your meal beforehand or and something. She like, didn't. I was like, no, the fuck, I didn't. So I wanted bacon. And they had like chocolate <laughs> covered or some shit. Why my black ass was about to cry? They didn't have. I was also I was high at this point. I was about to cry because <laughs> they didn't have my goddamn bacon. <laughs> but to wrap the story covered. up, yeah, it was some, it, that. Now that was good, and I think that chocolate was infused. But to wrap this up, <laughs> I felt like it was disrespectful that we had to be there for four hours and the food wasn't even because we called on it and we started calling them up. So they started trying oh, to pack boy. up, right? Somebody done ass <laughs> left a whole tub of pre rolls, baby. When I tell you, I just and put them in my tiny little purse. Yeah. They, actually told, they, they actually told us that we could take yeah. them too. He was like, "Yeah, just take them." I already got them. Yeah, they felt so bad. They and didn't I was feel set bad. for the whole rest of the trip. I was set for the whole rest of the trip. <laughs> they didn't give us I our money. Find nobody. I was good. Um, <laughs> all right, so. About this hike. So Evan wasn't too excited to be on this hike. And so he ran into a group of other people his age. And that's where bad wig come to play. But, you know, <laughs> since she seemed to take a liking to him, her friend Camille invited them over to smoke with them and then invited them back to their Airbnb. Peyton declined. Mm-hmm. And so Evan decided that he wants to kick it with them for the night instead of his brother. I... He wasn't even smoking with them. He was literally sitting off meditating. Away. Yeah. <laughs> See, okay, now here's my thing about this whole little scene. Y'all, first of all, Evan, my friend, as the friend that is notorious for going on adventures when we're in a group, it's always, where's Ashley? Where did she go? Oh, there she is. <laughs> you could have just exchanged numbers with this girl. You're just going to go off with them. You don't yeah. know them. <laughs> they are in the entire group. It is exactly. a group. It's yeah. not like it's just like her and Camille. It's like, a whole and even then, that would be weird. But it's like none of them motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> then mm-hmm. I don't like the way you tried to play because when Peyton had realized, like, you know, my brother really do want to be with him, he could be here for a few days. I let him go. Evan was like, Oh, you sure? Nigga, you know, you wanted to skedaddle. <laughs> oh, don't yeah. play. Don't play. Absolutely. He was just going to be pouting the whole time. <laughs> Right, okay. He no, he really exactly. He really was. <laughs> so two points. One, I really did enjoy Peyton. Um, I would in another lifetime, 
I would have gave him some sympathy pussy. Another lifetime, not <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> wow, I didn't know where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, she trying to come for your season one spot. She coming for your season one era. Just sliding out to California for hippie Nick. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> Sorry, that that took me by surprise. I'm over here having a coffee spill. Okay, because. I'm so because it's not the way it's not the way he look. I guess it's just personality. I thought he was a, a good at he'd be a fun ass. That's time you. For me. That's the male you. We would have that's a great party. time. We would have a great time together. And I think that's more what that stems from. Like most of y'all look like people we would buy the jugs from, but y'all don't do jugs. And it just seems like a good time with him. He was he had all the fucking activities planned out. You yeah, can yeah. miss me with that bike and shit, but all the others, let's go. I'm bringing, I'm surprised that you don't want to get on a bike. I do, but then it just seems like it was very hilly. <laughs> Not like a mountain bike. Biking like. buddies. Like you're gonna be biking with a whole bunch of like white people who probably take that shit so seriously. On your left like, type like, shit. Like, like, I be when I be seeing them do the signals, I'd be like, I don't know what the fuck that means. Just go. Because <laughs> right. sometimes I can get aggressive. And uh, I can get very aggressive. And what's the other word is? I can be competitive. So me biking is... With Against people. somebody on... Oh, ne- girl, I thought you were talking about you driving and someone on a bike. I was like, how are you in a car and competing with someone on a bike? Not this time. Really? But no. But biking with them could just go wrong for me. I could end up on the first 48. So... I'm gonna let them have what? that. Oh my gosh! No. But two, how long does a big last? A big? A how long does a big Shit. last? It depends. Because if I lose I it a know, few times, I, because I I literally just be over here like I lose, and I have quite a few. Okay, no, no, no. We talk about John A. John A's not able to tell. Okay, look, if we ever meet in person, don't get this girl a lighter. Yeah, because I'll just because <laughs> this girl will just sit here and do this. <laughs> Oh my Why God. are you doing that? <laughs> and that was look when I used to smoke, I would really be in like the little. Why are you smoke. doing that? And why? And then not if we hot boxing. Why would you do that when we in a closed area like that? Why would you do that? You taking all, all the, the air out. I just be like, how do you feel us? Like oxygen. <laughs> we got All I smell is lighter fluid now. The, right, the point <laughs> is, we don't want to air out. Now we gotta open the window. <laughs> Girl, but <laughs> what I was about to say is it depends on if I lose it a few times. Because if I lose it a few times, it can last me a second. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate you walk me through that. So if you keep the same lighter on you since you're like 11 or 12 and your brother, you don't take it from your brother, it's going to last this long? Because <laughs> I mean, okay, let's let's analyze. Let's analyze. You know, 20, I don't think he really does drugs. Though. Okay. Just, he doesn't. Because does probably all that he did, if he got it when he was 11, he probably only lighting fireworks and shit. How often yeah. you do that? Once a year. But for little kids, let's be honest, we like them bitches from June <clears throat> To August, maybe <laughs> September, bitch. Okay, so you using that lighter then. Then it's put away for the whole rest of the year because what no. you lighting it for unless you bad as hell. And then when you get older, <laughs> you know, he don't do drugs. So the only thing he lighting is candles. He do do drugs. Mm-hmm. And it could. Like, I mean, no, that was, wasn't that his brother's and then Evan took it? He took yeah. it when he was 11, though. Oh, Evan took it when he was 11. Okay, got it. He don't had it. And he got to be at least 21, minimum. Maybe but that's what I was going to say. What is this? Because they said unsuspecting teenagers, and he has a teen safe app. So are they supposed to be seniors in high school, or are they college age? I was I thinking don't know. college. I, I think dorms. College. I think yeah, I thought they was college, college. Age because he said dorms. But mm-hmm. like you know, he don't have like their parents are dead. So yeah. he's playing the brother and the parents. So yeah. he just got to make sure. And then also, I just think it was just the name they could come up with. Because I'm like, they yeah. couldn't say because. I know we're like not there yet, but I just had it was a thing with that scene. I was like, all right, I'll get on y'all later. I'll wait. <laughs> the teen safe app. But yeah, with the art but even with the NRA people, that's what they said. They're like, who are they gonna shoot out here? They were like unsuspecting teenagers. So I'm like, are they just like 1920 and they got alcohol before they got here? Or probably. Probably. But I mean, who rented the house? Don't you have to be over 21 to do it? 
They pre- that's what I'm like. It's probably a bling. You know, like when we were at that age, we was hanging out with a nice yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, I feel like Max is the 21 year old. Like youngest would probably <laughs> literally, you would probably have that one 18 year old scraggler that probably was not supposed to be there, but they was <laughs> they grew oh, up yeah. with us. And then the oldest one was probably like around like 21, 22. Let's be honest. Let's be real for yeah. Especially if y'all all grew up in a group together. So I can see. And then it some being, seniors was like 23. Right. And then you got some super seniors. Right. And mm. then you're just like, nigga, why is you here? But they cool. We had a, we had so, a lot of them in the band. So yeah, that that's, lot, and like, that's why I'm like, people. you hang out with when you in college, you be hanging out with the nice <laughs> age gap. But let's talk that's let's talk true. about these little um ghost stories. Okay. <laughs> so that night they just drank their little lives away until it was time to share scary stories around a campfire. Like this is Are You Afraid of the Dark? I love it. When it was Emma's turn, he didn't have one to tell, so they told him to go to anonymousnightmares.com to find one. He finds and reads the story of H.J. and immediately fucks up by reading his name five times. Noel was scared of the story, and Evan ruined the vibe, so they go inside to take cinnamon whiskey shouts, except for Zoe and Evan, because they decided to go get in the hot tub. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if it was just me, but Sam, when he was telling his story at the beginning... And it has that shot of his glasses. Like, you can't really see his eyes because it's like the reflection of the frame. The flame, excuse me. Mm-hmm. It reminded me of the brother in Night of the Living Dead. The, they're coming to get you, Barbara. I don't know why, <laughs> but his whole little style reminded me of that brother. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, how y'all gonna get mad? Y'all told him to uh, read the story. How y'all gonna right. <laughs> that was exactly. that, but, and it wasn't yeah. even a scary story like that. Also, when they was in the jacuzzi, I know you ain't said this yet, but before they saw what they thought they saw, what they did see, return to Sam, <laughs> it was like a reflection on the screen, but it looked like two eyeballs was like on the jacuzzi. I don't know how to describe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I saw you know what I'm too. talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I think I it was supposed to be the house with lights. That. Yeah, but yeah. It did look like that. Yeah, because even when Zoe was getting ready to get in the jacuzzi, the first time I saw it, I'm like, why am I watching this girl get ready to get in the damn jacuzzi? But on Rewatch <laughs> for the podcast, I was noticing that the green was like reflecting off her eyes. But mm. like, lots of foreshadowing. Man, those yeah. details, man. Mm. <laughs> I mean, even the lighter is foreshadowing because it had the five on it. So yeah. Once again. <clears throat> Yeah, I was like in the campfire scene, obviously alluding to like creepy pastas and stuff like that. Which uh-huh. I guess that's modern. I've never just like been reading scary stories. I so love, God, I like. love creepy pastas. I used to sit and it's two creepy pasta channels that I'll just listen to if like nobody has a podcast episode ready for me. I'll turn those on. I love them. Or like animated Same. YouTube horror stories. Mm-hmm. Yes, I would be, I'd be falling asleep too. Yes, I'd be into it. It'd be their voices. I'd just be like, <laughs> right. somebody getting fucked up, but I'm I'm sleeping. Right <laughs> it's all fake. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, they really told him to go to this website. But I mean, obviously, this is also leading to like the Slender Man and all that like the mm-hmm. blue whale all of those like even the momo challenge like all of those like you know I uh, like that shit. internet yeah That's internet shit. challenges where it was like oh do this and like what was it i think it was a momo challenge it was like parents were talking about how like those videos were telling their kids to like do mm-hmm. things that could make them hurt themselves and stuff like that so yeah definitely interesting how that gets integrated into like our horror now because like mm-hmm. internet horror is always fun but this is like the urban legend side of it too right. <laughs> you accidentally summon this demon right oh, reading some off pinterest or something. <laughs> what? like damn i was just trying to share your content right? <laughs> for real in the hot tub they're awkward as fuck and we find out that everyone is paired off except zoe they hear something out in the bushes and swear they see something. So they go in the house and shut, lock the doors, and tell people they seen something. But oh, let's drink some more so that you can forget about it. <laughs> that fucking return to slab shadow looking thing. No. Just... Ooh, and Max, honey, why you got a dick? And why is he still bitter? He's supposedly dead. 
think that's it. But you're still like taking shots. First of all, first of all, like, like, let's just bro. get this out the way. <clears throat> Vanessa, honey, girl, why is you here? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> why? Why are you here? Because it was so many times that I was just like, Vanessa, for real. And I'm gonna point them out. <laughs> but I was just like, girl, I know you, I know you playing. I know you not. It was crazy. I'm just gonna sit there while he's doing this, like <laughs> Also, I did not like, okay, so when it's the when they decide to get out the jacuzzi and start going in and they're like grabbing their clothes and it's that far view and it looks like like we're the point of view watching them and then they mm -hmm. start walking. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. <laughs> because, because the thing about it is I love the camera angle because you know it's something walking. It's not a steady cam yeah. to where it's a consistent shot. It literally mm -hmm. has a bounce and has a rhythm. So you're like, no, yeah. bro, it's really something out there. Like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> and still yeah. at this point, we don't know what type of movie this is about to be still. Exactly. And they even have, I mean, they have, I noticed on this launch too, they do have several shots like that. Because even at the mm -hmm. end, like the end end, which is such a good scene, when he like runs out of the house, you can tell that that's also clearly the thing watching him, mm -hmm. like from our POV. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's such good cinematography in here, even though it's like, it's like, I don't know, when we did this, actually, we did do an episode on this. So it's like this, like, right. not quite B movie, but like, it's like elevated B movie. I don't know how to explain that now. Yeah, it's like it's a because really good we have indie movie. Yeah, like they yeah. paid attention to detail with certain effects <laughs> and what the budget they had, they made right. it work. Because especially with the technology we have now, like B movies can be better than what we expect from a B movie. Right. So like even we were like, oh yeah, that was another one. Assimilate. I think that one's on that Netflix, and. And it has a similar premise as this invasion of the body snatchers type thing. And it's just like that certain feel where you're like, I don't know, like this is, it looks like a product of the internet. Like this is what this feels like to me. Like, like if they put this on YouTube as a series, I would have watched it. <laughs> like that would have been yeah. a cool format for this too. Like fucking <laughs> Marvel Hornets type thing. Yeah. But it's like, the next yeah. day, Evan wakes up in bed with Zoe and walks out outside groggily, barely paying attention to anything, let alone the random blonde sitting on the couch who doesn't speak back. While getting his shoes and socks from the hot tub, he sees tracks in the sand that lead to the shack on the property and goes to investigate, finding a weird witchy type burn mark on the wall. Recently burned too because it came off on his hand. He's startled by Zoe, but the whole time there was like a blonde chick behind him. And I'm confused because how Zoe ain't seen that shit? She wasn't supposed to. <laughs> All right. That's why. I guess it. Get out of the way. Okay. And he also put on his dirty socks that were left outside. This, okay. Sand. Let's just get this out in the air now. Let's get this out in the air now. I'm going to say it again, I'm sure. This, this is why I don't know why you went with them. Because with what? You didn't, have clothes. you did not have anything on you. Like, even wash clothes in the sink my first thing <laughs> with them though is if you wake up and the door is wide ass open i'm gonna walk out that bitch and go home because i don't ain't no way what's with them with locking doors <laughs> also i no, wait a minute my... Brittany, time out i don't know if i'm walking out that uh, if the door is open i don't know i might have to freeze in my spot <laughs> I'm leaving. I, I, don't leaving wanna... I don't know what's out there if the door open. I'm like, some door went out, some that came right. in. I don't Hell, know. It's probably still in there with them. <laughs> it's it's like 18 of these motherfuckers. Honestly. <laughs> I, I just leave. I, I I need to go. Fuck you all. <laughs> no, but that's what my thing was. Like, why did he get mad? Like, why did Max get mad at him for asking him to lock the doors? We're in the middle of nowhere in a random airbnb so like why is the door being not locked? locked right like why would like, you lock the door why is that an issue we don't know anything around here we don't know these people who even out because that's not there's a picture obviously they pan to the picture of the family that lived there mm -hmm. there are five of them so we yeah. either know that's the little girl's family mm -hmm. like who he later googles or we know they're dead like right. <laughs> that's, it's either her family exactly. or they're just randomly like dead so, yeah, no doors should be locked. Like regardless. I mean, Max is so fucking tough. Like, there's no reason he's to lock gonna... doors. Like, that's his problem. No lock doors. 
<laughs> he's gonna fight. <laughs> Love doors fucking... make me crazy. <laughs> 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 he's straight up gonna fist fight the fucking internet <laughs> entity. Like, but no, also the there. girl, the miscellaneous blonde that's just sitting on the couch. Mm-hmm. She wasn't weird to you. I was That's what I'm she, saying. She, <laughs> she just sitting there doing random shit. You yeah, she hello. literally just you don't like, speak back. <laughs> like didn't I give you no hand nod. <laughs> yeah, just like okay, okay. Listen, let's just go ahead and give me a moment to be odd. That that ain't the oddest thing though, because sometimes folks be speaking to me and I be lost. <laughs> And you be what? Yeah. Gone. Like That's I just, I'd be, I be like looking somewhere else. Like I have a thing where I just zone the fuck out and I stare. Mm. And I'm not like, hey, what's up? And keep walking. Like, yeah, like, whatever. I have no clue what the fuck you would have said to me. So I can't say about that. No, I'm bad. I'll like ask you how your day was going to keep walking. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm bad with that. Oh, well, that's like, that's a, that's usual. At least you say it something. This girl, she just like, I don't answer. Like, I'm I wouldn't like, have answered. Did you eat all the shrooms last night? You good? Like, <laughs> you there? But then she like turns her head. I feel like I ought to yeah. notice the staring like at the, the back stare of on my... your back. And he just came <laughs> there yawning in the morning. Ugh, something about the way he yawned in that whole scene pissed me off. I didn't like that. I was like, what was that? But I'm nitpicking at this point. No, yeah, he was not smart. Because like you walk over there. And there's this burnt and scratched symbol, it's like burnt and scratched. Mm-hmm. It's not just like, and you're just like, <laughs> oh, why would that normal. not be a like? Why would that exactly? It was gonna be why would you not jackets. think of anything? Like, when they like find that symbol and they're just like, hey, that's cute. Let's do a seance around it. Like, Are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm thinking cults, rituals, <laughs> like, death. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Yeah, right. It's the random symbol in the shed that nobody's gone in. Because for... I'm like, ain't no little kid did this shit. This too good. <laughs> like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally terrifying. And it's got the five points. And mm-hmm. the, are they people at the end of those points? Yeah, they're sure supposed to be connected people. Yeah. Like yeah. us. <laughs> I got five on it. <laughs> there you go. The history can... said I'm about Head to fight that. And... <laughs> oh my gosh. Back in the house, Camille finally wakes up and joins the group. So who the fuck was that blonde girl? They're all eating breakfast, waking and baking, blah, blah, blah. Now it's time for the activity of the day. And Camille was being a bit too pushy with wanting the details of Zoe's sex life in the kitchen. After Zoe walks off, Camille scolds Brian about still being in the kitchen, cooking after eating five eggs and a whole pack of bacon. She <laughs> walks outside and they do a head count. Brian is already in the car and Camille is confused. Okay, now look, let's just rewind real quick because... I don't know if y'all peep. Tori and Brian were in the kitchen and Tori was like, is this food cooked all the way? Do you know what you're doing, bro? And Brian yeah. was just like <laughs> looking around like all fucking no, yeah. confused. So I was like, that's a fucking imposter. That's not fucking Brian. <laughs> but what the fuck is happening here? Yeah, so, you no. know, you got Max being a dick and stuff. And then this is when Camille, like you just said, comes in and says the same thing. And Brian looked at her like, bitch, I already had one girl talking about my shit. You gonna say something too? Can I handle my business? <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to assimilate here. You're bothering me. <laughs> we don't know the last time he ate like shit. Okay. They too hopped up on drugs for me because no, if I saw you in the kitchen and now you in the car and you ain't walk past me, I'm going home. <laughs> but why did she not say anything? Because exactly. you know, you know, you just saw him and had a whole non-conversation. <laughs> like you How to him. did he wrap up his eggs and bacon and get in the fucking car before you were <laughs> able to get your foot off the front porch? I don't oh. understand that. It doesn't make sense to me. I you don't can... understand. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I'm if I'm gonna ask a question, I give zero fucks if I'm wrong. I be committed. <laughs> I be committed to asking my slow ass questions. Ask Jade. I got like I don't know how many arm pads last week <laughs> because I was dedicated. Oh fuck yeah! I be dedicated to asking my questions. I'm never gonna. <laughs> <stop>. <laughs> 
<laughs> I would have accepted an arm pack and just been wrong. And like they gave me one that I didn't deserve because I asked about towels, but we got fucking towels. Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 Mm-mm. no. Got hella stories. No, <laughs> no, because here's the thing: you have a waiter. We had two. A de- a- <laughs> we have a waiter, mm-hmm. a dedicated waiter. The bus boy comes. She asked the bus boy for food. This, this, this ain't our waiter. This uh-huh. is the bus boy. She did that multiple times at restaurants too, right? I'd be so hungry. Then, it came time for we had a mini bar in the room so you know there's someone who comes to service only the mini bar and then they have housekeeping Uh the lady came in to service the mini bar she asked her for towels and we're like Brittany this is not the housekeeper she's (laughs) our person (laughs) did they bring back our towels and Brittany she sent someone (laughs) to the room yes if you ever ever (laughs) spend I'm, I feel bad for them. If you ever spawn children and y'all go on vacation. Spawn. Because she kept doing it the whole trip. She would ask the wrong people <laughs> the things that we needed. And it's like, you're asking the Those wrong people. Be they like, have nothing I'm to not, do I'm anything. not going to apologize because I was not paying attention to who I was supposed to ask it to. I'm not <laughs> It was just the way that Camille got offended when Evan was like, it was another blind chick. Somebody was like, Camille's the only blind. I said, oh. Right. Damn. The token blonde. Like, okay. Like. Damn. <laughs> true blonde. She they got have, black roots. They okay. got a token wig, right. too. <laughs> a token wig. Jesus. Well, On their hike. Two black girls, so. <laughs> Couldn't be yeah. a token. That wig is on. That wig is. Haley was like, "Hey, I got. I can rock this bun. I'm good. Y'all don't need. <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> I got it. I got it. On their hike up a cliff, they hear gunshots. Now they're on the cliff, chilling, taking in the scenery, talking about life. And Zoe Ash just steps right off the cliff, right before Tori walks up and is acting weird she kind of stumbles up the side out of breath then starts looking around and counting on her fingers and just stares at zoe as she falls off the cliff doesn't flinch as everyone runs to the edge she just stands there and the rest goes down to see her and then tori just stands there that was <laughs> and then it's right next to them i was yeah. like excuse me she comes so, <laughs> this is how you could tell the difference Tori had on a um her shirt had a pattern on it. Yeah. The mimic was like a solid color. It was a solid color. And mm-hmm. that happened a lot. So like the mimic was like it didn't know how to like mimic patterns and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it could mimic like the basic shit. Cuz even like Brian's shirt when he was in the kitchen, it's not like the design. It was just like the color of it. It's almost yeah. like um, when we would play Sims, I still play Sims. If anyone else, too. yeah. So it was almost like Sims when it's like the Max's version, and then you got the CP <laughs> version that looked better. <laughs> <laughs> the um, HJ or the Hisman, Hisman, <laughs> the Redman. Oh, I like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like he wearing the Max's version. And then like later on, I know we haven't gotten to that point yet, but like mm-hmm. when Sam has his. Uh, mimic situation. His the real Sam has actual like words. Yeah, like, but the mm-hmm. mimic it was just like random Re- letter. Mm-hmm. It looked like mm-hmm. Simish. <laughs> <laughs> it was Maxis. But how are you bringing a random boy toy home? But just screaming for the nigga you dumped. Who there with the whole new bitch? I okay. Like, first of all, first of all, yes, because I have so much to talk about in this scene, ma'am. Ma'am, yeah. the way this girl literally just stepped off of this thing okay so that's kind of like how i did it when i when i jumped off the stratosphere except for it's more like a little ease off the side you knew you were doing that what? this girl's gonna say she's like i had no control of my body i was a passenger <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine standing oh, on the edge of a fucking cliff of a rock and all of a sudden something's like you when you just on the fucking ground. I, want, <laughs> I have an issue Hurt. with the mimic in this moment in time because how the fuck are you going to commit to unaliving somebody then fuck it up? <laughs> <laughs> I was I like, damn, I was, Zoe takes a tumble. I think she was supposed to like hit her head or something, but, yeah. but the, mimic, the mimic was, I mean, everybody else, we're going to get to them. 
they was a one on. But this bitch, you couldn't make her walk off a cliff, right? I think that was a <laughs> I play think it just, because I think it just he, was a- Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it was just like I think it was a ploy because mm-hmm. I was it trying to possess Evan this whole time. And you know, every time they have to get the love interest to make them vulnerable to right. the possession, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. So that I feel like that was the only goal here. Because I was I thinking, know. I was thinking some along that line. I was thinking more it was more of a reason for Evan to stay. Yeah. Because Peyton was gonna come back and be like, let's roll. <laughs> but if sis fucked <laughs> up, he gonna be like, I gotta stay with my girl. You know how they do. They call him <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not even his bitch. She was calling for another nigga. So I like, exactly. And then I was like, I'm like, I know you're not yelling for Mac. Vanessa, you gonna let her do that? I know she fucked up, but I would have slapped her because you're not about to be. <laughs> I wish you would. Girl. They already medics talking about ain't shit wrong with the bitch angle and she got a fucking golf it, ball on that bitch. And she got right. a- it was purple. And she yeah, said she don't nice. need no hospital. I said, ma'am, this ain't the time for that strong black Honestly, woman shit. This ain't the time. Like, I this is what I, I said. Two things about the leg. I said, why her leg look like a mummy skeleton? And then I also said it looked like a charred anorexic turkey leg. <laughs> Where how'd you even that, come to that? Oh no, that's it a, did. A, a very descriptive. <laughs> it did. But yeah, the the thing, that. the thing that did it for me. Was when they went back, Vanessa was sitting in the fucking trunk, in the bed of the truck, as they rode back to the villa. <laughs> Max talk about something, my car is full. <laughs> and Vanessa was in the trunk. No, she should have been <laughs> not there. Who was like, in the back she... seat? So <laughs> Who was in the passenger seat? We don't know. Because Camille got in the back with Zoe. So, I so who it. was in the passenger seat? Because why was <laughs> Vanessa sitting there? <laughs> Vanessa, girl, you better fight. You need to fight back. You need to do something. Because you well, honestly, here, you girl. know, when they first pulled off from the house, she was back there with a blonde girl. Kaylee and yeah. Okay, yeah. so I can see that. The- but nice I can see that, like, on yeah. the way there, like, yeah, maybe because, like, okay, like, if us three went out and one of our significant others was driving, I could see one of y'all wanting to sit with the rest of us in the back, and I don't know, something like that. But the trunk, <laughs> <laughs> the just, bed, I the wanna... bed of the truck. Do I need to get lower to the mic? Like, the bed of the truck. Maybe she you likes the yourself. breeze. No, maybe she, maybe she likes the breeze flying through her hair because it is refreshing to ride in the back of a truck. Are you Sally Hardesty? <laughs> not, not today. <laughs> not today. Okay. Yeah, very suspicious. He clearly is just because even when he was before all of that. When Evan and Zoe were just talking, he was looking at them the whole time. And then she's just standing, like, looking over her because he was staring over her to look at them. And then just, like, looks at her and grabs his, her hand. It's like, okay, let's go. Like, you... That was a whole scene you felt the need to make, like, girl. Yeah, like, literally. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> no. She should. She shouldn't have. I don't know. But also, Evan shouldn't have been here because, like, you like, yeah, exactly. You didn't even go back to get some f- clothes. Yeah, you did not plan at all. <laughs> no, I know them balls musty because he didn't take a damn shower. I figured. But see, my out. thing so. is, and I didn't say this. Did he yeah. got in the jacuzzi. Did he just get in the jacuzzi in his drawers? I think. I think so. Yeah, yeah possibly. Because you didn't have no swimwear. <laughs> so you just got anything. in with your drawers and then got but out been what did you in. sleep in mm-hmm. he was I naked. know you ain't sleeping in them jeans he was naked you was and naked him in this girl right. bed you just met with your balls out he washed his drawers in the sink no you don't <laughs> <laughs> put them on and went right outside no, yeah, woke up. this is not because I was seeing him when he would wake up in the morning and go gargle. I'm like, you ain't even got a tube. 
Right. Two especially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feels like crazy. And it's the desert. If this is like the California desert and y'all are going hiking. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-mm. <laughs> Back in the house, Zoe was like, she felt a passenger, like a passenger in her own body when she went over the cliff. And Camille was basically asking her, like, sis, was you okay before this? Like, was you feeling a little suicidal before this trip while she was wrapping up her ankle? And then gave her a piggyback ride to the mm-hmm. living room and then dropped her ass. <laughs> Sat on her ankle. <laughs> Child. But then she goes in the kitchen to get a beer, right? From the fridge and walks past Nico sitting there drinking a beer and then once she gets out the kitchen, Nico is sitting in the chair getting a rub down from Haley, and she turns back to look in the kitchen and she doesn't see him there and is confused as fuck, but ignores it. Doesn't say yeah. anything. That's That's again, that. why again? You could have been like, Nico, how'd you do Nico. that? <laughs> that bitch never says anything. And also, she didn't even mention how the refrigerator looks. Like, bitch, who the fuck organizes shit in stacks of five? <laughs> Yeah, the increasing number of things in five here. It's so obvious. Like it is, but I'm sorry, but I love it. I'm sorry. I was left. No, I meant for these people to not even notice. Like they like Mm -hmm. five is everywhere. Like, Mm -hmm. but I guess you know they're on shrooms and have tequila shots. They're just too drugged up for me because the (laughs) common sense is not there. I'm sorry. It was just (laughs) when she opened the fridge, literally everything. The hot dogs. Was the in the eggs, the tomatoes. Why you got five sticks of butter? Like, what's that? <laughs> this Airbnb <laughs> is loaded. Like, they take care of their people. I was I'm like, damn. When I leave, <laughs> when we leave, we're gonna leave with some packs of hot dogs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Evan is the only one who got sense. He's like, okay, listen now, something is going on here. It's weird. But then Max want to be a dickhead and blame it on Peyton, and then boom. Peyton shows up and knocks on the door all crazy to take Evan away from this foolishness, but his dumbass want to stay. He's like, oh. <laughs> Time was, out. Okay, go ahead, B. Go ahead. Who the fuck gets involved in family business when you just met this motherfucker two days ago? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's they talk- all like, you can do what you want to do, Evan. No the fuck you <laughs> can't. <laughs> no the fuck you can't. I'm sorry. You go with your brother. He came for you. He is clearly the parent right now, not the sibling. And he says, bring your ass on. I have been like, (laughs) bye, Evan. Right. So I just don't understand because just get her number. She likes you. She's not going to say no. Get her contact. Y'all can talk later. We can meet in a more safe situation. And the one thing I do like about this is that Peyton never joins. Yeah. Because if he did, it would throw everything off. Which would save the movie, but he never joins. He always just leaves. But also, this is what I wanted to talk about earlier when I said I was going to get on y'all ass. Um, what's wrong with his brother having his location? You mad somebody love him? Nobody <laughs> loves him to you have y'all location. Is that what it is? I think that's so. I would like to be told one thing. You know, I would like to be told that I'm being tracked, but other than that, that is... I think he knew he was being tracked. Yeah, I think like, he I knew think... he was just embarrassed. Yeah, he was oh, embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. He spot. knew. He definitely knew. I right. don't know why he was embarrassed. Shit, I got my brother's location. I got my location. I got Ashley. <laughs> she got my location. I got oh, Brady. She got my exactly. life. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't but... understand. Now, I get because the name of it is called Team Safe, so it probably yeah. does sound like a kitty thing, but I'm like... Okay. Let, let's talk about that burden for one second, though, because I mean, not many people can use that. No, like, that oh, was a good burn. I love that burn because everybody shut the fuck up real quick. They stopped, <laughs> they stopped laughing. They all did the uncomfortable look. And uh-huh. I was like, and that's why he the older sibling, bitch. Talk about <laughs> I have to act like his parents. Our parents are dead. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they got quiet quick. They really yeah. did. Y'all was on mute. Yeah, I just don't even know. Yeah, I don't get why that's like a big deal. Like, I have literally people who don't even live in my state, so we share my location. I like, see some of y'all on y'all snapbacks. Okay. Right. Like, no, see, I cut that off because I thought that shit was weird. No, that's, someone that's literally stalked me from my snap maps like dead uh, ass was like I'm I can outside only see house. I can only see like, certain people 
Mm-mm. I can't <laughs> see like everybody. Like I can only see certain people. And people really real life have that shit on. Or like on. Them. Like they be in their house. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah, but you probably doing this up. But <laughs> the only person who has my Snap Map is my boyfriend. But other than that, I turn that shit off for everybody else. That shit's weird. Like yeah, you, it like is. it's it's weird. it's lit. <laughs> like it's it lit. Like no, you know how usually like stuff like that. It just say like you're in this city. No, it'd be like, bitch, you in this house right, right. here. That shit. Right. Right. And because when you're in the car, in. it'll turn into a car. Like it'll right. literally yeah. when you're like, like going our way. No. And it is like when, uh, say for instance, you're like traveling, and like it would say, oh so-and-so just traveled from baltimore to houston and like you yep. see the little airplane and i'm like what the fuck no <laughs> listen yeah, i found out about, your little air, your airport shit yeah i found out about snap maps in the best slash worst way possible somebody i was friends with at the time like messaged me and she's like hey are you driving down such and such highway and i'm like bitch what the fuck you psychic and then she was like <laughs> Cause mind you, I'm in fucking Mississippi, My Alabama. Man, so I would have let you. Know. So I'm like, yeah, I just had a feeling. And it's she, she all the way in Florida. I was like, how the fuck you know where the fuck I was? She's like, no, Snapchat did the little new update. That's right when it hit. And she was like, they can see your location. She's like, I was like, apparently so, because you're telling me well, I cut that shit off immediately and it's never back been back on since. Yeah, that's never. just fucking weird. There's told no me reason. I was in the car and everything with my little bitmoji just driving down the fucking street. Uh-uh. Not my bitmoji. <laughs> that's really what it is, your bitmoji driving down the street in the yeah. fucking car. It is. It's very creepy. There you go. So one, one of my, our former coworkers literally like stalked me. And oh, what was ridiculous was he literally was telling a story about how he had previously stalked another girl and... Jail. They literally use jail. snap maps to stalk me. Like he has jail. Not him you know. telling his mo and then doing it again. Exactly. <laughs> Absolute creep. Oh yeah, I, he had been in jail. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of heaven, the whole icing on the cake of this whole little altercation for me was the fucking lo-fi music that was still playing in the back. Nobody stopped it. Nothing mm. happened. It was just going the whole time. Evan <laughs> and Max was arguing. I was loving it. It's delightful. Because it was realistic. Because, you know, usually when scenes like that in the movie happen, the music just stopped. Like, everything just get all dramatic and stuff. But it just kept going. <laughs> I, loved it. I was like, nobody going to stop it. Realistic. <laughs> but yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is about to turn off the music. <laughs> Hold up, it's getting serious. Let me cut, <laughs> cut off these jams. Right. <laughs> so in my notes at this point, I had put that Evan was probably going to die because he decided to stay over some pussy with a bad wig. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a way to... He didn't even ask him to bring <laughs> okay, his clothes. Look, I like... hate to say this. I hate to say this, but that's the prototype. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... And y'all know what I mean. I ain't even, yeah. if you know what we mean, you know what we mean. And I hate to say it like this, but. Yeah. Chill. Yeah. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Whew. Well, anyways, the night continues with more drinking games. They're playing King's Cut with the damn mimic. And don't even realize it until Nico is like, okay, Sam, it's your turn. And Sam peeks in from the damn kitchen, confused as fuck, and then the lights cut off. I <laughs> loved this scene. <laughs> I love this scene. The panning gave me um, Paranormal Activity 3 vibe. So I was already here <laughs> for that because I'm like, I know it's something I'm supposed to be watching. And I'm not right. going to hold you. It wasn't until BJ and I watched it for the podcast that, and we both seen this movie before. So we were really obviously excited to watch it again. And I was like, hey, yo, stop, stop the check, rewind, watch <laughs> Sam. And I never, I was like, watch Imposter Sam. I never fucking realized that this dude had, like, I knew that was the imposter, but... He was so confused. He was like... He was so lost. He was like... <laughs> the table. Like, it, no it, clue I, going it really got me because they was like, never have I ever um, gotten hit or the, something. Yeah. Jacked off in the bathroom. And he was just like... And Nico was like, you motherfucking liar! Yeah. <laughs> like, and he didn't know what that meant. Like, he was so lost. Like... And I'm just like, wow, well, because he doesn't know how to function with everybody. And when yeah. it happens, he was like, oh, shit, my cover's blown. Hit the light. 
<laughs> but how do they control the electricity? I think it's an like, alien. Like it the gotta be something. Or, I don't like, know. Yeah, because yeah, whenever they who was like googling all this, like going through the actual page. Like, why was the internet fucking up? And he was looking at that little girl's blog. He's like, ah, you don't need to see this. <laughs> Stop trying to find yeah, shit even out. Next, even next to the uh, picture of the family, like, one of the, I think one of the beer cans is, like, a Skinwalker brand beer can. So yeah. they're really getting all the urban legend in there. Mm-hmm. Making sure you know. <laughs> No, I just, that whole little scene was like, ice because it was almost, this is like the scene, like if you hadn't been paying attention previously, <laughs> this was the one that was really going to get you because it just fucks you up. Because once we get in the kitchen and everybody's there, everybody's accusing everybody like y'all fucking crazy. <laughs> it was in here with us. Now y'all crazy. Clearly he was sitting next to us. What's going on? <laughs> and the funny thing about it was everybody got up, but you could see the mimic still sitting there. Not yeah, there. yeah. And that's why I was looking, when they were like looking back, like I don't see the dark figure still in the chair. Like you can see a silhouette. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you definitely could. But yeah, that's a really good scene. And it it's too dressed up for me. <laughs> Haley, Haley was not with that shit. She was. She like, was like, off. "What the fuck?" She was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck?" Because that would have been me. That would. I could. Because I let's okay. Let's let's make this movie black real quick. What would we even do? I would have left the first time I seen multiple people. What I mean, I would have said something at least, but like, like maybe the nondescript blonde person. Is who I would have like, but like when he said the other blonde, I would be like, who? Like, what? what who are we looking for? <laughs> and see, at first, when that first time happened, as the audience, you don't think too much of it because you're like, yeah, it's a lot of motherfucking shit. I don't know who's who. <laughs> Was it another blonde? Like, damn. But by the time it gets to the Brian thing, that's when you're like, hmm. And then when it's Sam, you like, or well, Tori too, because. I don't know, because Tori, I feel like that's easy to miss the first time. You don't really, you know, something yeah. is weird when she come over there. But unless you really paying attention and you see her doing the stuff, then. Yeah, you know. exactly. But that's also, a, I didn't, another thing about the Sam one, because he was holding up the fingers. Mm-hmm. And so, like, does he, it have to be an intentional thing for him? Or does there only have to be five people for it to work? Is Because, okay, <laughs> because... In that Sam scene, it was Zoe, Evan, Camille, Tori, Brian, Nico, Vanessa. So with just, um, not Brian, Sam. So with Sam, that's six. So it was seven of them sitting there. So it has to have like something divisible by five. Because that's what I was trying to figure out. Because like if Peyton had stayed, would it just not have worked? Because there yeah, was 11 people there. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it wouldn't okay. have worked. <laughs> so that's why I was working hard to keep Evan there. Because before Evan, it was only nine. Mm-hmm. See, they could have had a pleasant trip if they wasn't trying to get no dick. <laughs> Damn, so. Yeah. And so in that wig. <laughs> Max Can you push Sam- back a little bit more? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Max, Sam and Evan go inspect the house for an extra person finding no one. Whole time when they were looking in the last room, one of the closets they opened had closed behind them. Feeling relieved, I guess, they decided to continue drinking as they slept later on, you know, because they didn't drunk so much, they didn't went the fuck to sleep. Man. The lights in the living room came back on and Max comes out the room and looks around at them all weird as they slept. And I'm convinced that that wasn't even Max. I think that was the mimic. I think it was mm-hmm. too. Because mm-hmm. why? Because, okay, why? so when I had rewinded it a little bit, it looked like he had like on like a, it wasn't a black shirt, but it looked more like a red shirt with the blue flannel. Mm-hmm. And when he had came out when they were sleeping, he had on a black shirt. Black, with a red yeah. Pant. So, and he was all moving all weird and shit. Yeah, and I was like, why are you just looking? And Max don't look like the type to be checking in on people while they fucking right. sleep and making sure they're okay. <laughs> oh, that's no, like, what is you doing? Oh, they good. No, yeah, he's, yeah. No, I think, yeah, that was definitely the mimic because I think in that scene there were six people asleep. Yeah. 
So I don't think he could do anything because it was yeah. like Haley and Nico were cuddled up, whoever and Camille were, and then yeah, I think it was six. Camille people, wasn't so. even in there. It was I know for sure it was Haley and Haley Nico. and Nico. Yeah, it I was Brian, that. Vanessa, and Sam. Tori no. and Tori. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Sam and Tori. Who was that? Wait, whoa, whoa! Time out. Stop, 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 stop. But I thought it was a blonde. No, uh, the blonde wasn't out there. Johnny, who you say was in there again? So the couple that was on the couch was Nico, Nico and, Haley. and Haley. Then you had the person closest to the, us, the camera. It was Brian right here, and it was Sam right here. Then the okay. two on the other side, it was Vanessa and Tori. Okay. Because the reason why I was trying to figure out was it the mimic or not, because I was trying to see was Max there. But uh, I didn't yeah, see. But I'm like, no, something about this ain't right. And they, and I'm like, are they trying to fuck with us and see if we paying attention? Is it really <laughs> Max? Is it not really? This is like thing. This is like the thing in Childs. Is he an okay, imposter so yeah. or not? That's Camille and whoever Nico, and the scene just came up on our thing. Nico and Haley, Vanessa, Tori's right there, and that has maybe that is Max. Now, who was wearing a? Okay, so yeah, Max was wearing a like plaid thing over his yeah. shirt, and the mm-hmm. mimic comes out in just a black shirt. Yep. So, so there was like, so I think everyone but Zoe and. Evan. Evan were outside asleep and in the living room. Because Camille was not no, there. Camille was on there. Yeah, we just it just popped up. Like then Camille was ha- on the couch. Then that means Haley wasn't there either. Haley was. It was. It Haley was everyone. Cuddled up with Nico. Yeah, it, he was. It's like two couples are on two different couches. So it's like Haley and Nico, Camille and her boyfriend. Then Vanessa was sitting there, and then Sam and Brian. Were I didn't in see chairs. Camille at all because Brian was sitting on the chair by himself, and that's Camille's boyfriend is Brian. No, Camille and Brian were on the thing. We're like on the couch, like they are the cu- the other couple on the couch. Like there's two she, couches, she two said couples, there's two couches, and like that. Oh. yeah, like they're sitting next to each other because you can just see you can only recognize Camille by her hair. Yeah, because I team. only saw Brian. I didn't see <laughs> like, Brian. Yeah, Brian. That's what I'm saying. It blends into like she's wearing a white shirt with her mm-hmm. blonde hair on a white pillow, but she's there. Like it looks like she's the pillow. <laughs> honestly we all would have been sleeping together i'm like all right. <laughs> right why are we uh, not just in the room like everybody's because didn't yeah, somebody say no that on the mountain like why are we splitting up <laughs> yeah, no we're not doing that <laughs> that we are not the next day evan wakes up again like he hung over nico made him a bracelet which is kind of cute and then we find out that max and zoe used to date and evan puts together the fact that you know he summoned an entity after stealing nico's laptop to research hj fives everywhere <laughs> I can <laughs> on <laughs> no why didn't he finish like... huh? huh i said why didn't he finish the whole thing like the first time I'm back. Oh, because, because they discouraged him. They said his story sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but then we wouldn't know what was about to happen. <laughs> a better question. When you find out you summon an entity, why don't you leave? <laughs> he up. was about to. He was, he was about to. Okay, so Evan goes outside to check out the bird symbol again, but he doesn't actually go to check it out because he chickens out. He's like, yeah, fuck he this, like, I'm no. going home. <laughs> He's like, I'm going the fuck home. But Zoe, which is not even Zoe, the, the fake fucking Zoe. Minute, <laughs> sitting outside and she's sitting on the ground saying that her ankle is better and begs him to stay after kissing him. And she tells him, you know, look, go ride in Nico's car because I'm going to ride with Max because, mm-hmm. you know, Max is already mad. And then the bitch right. stole his lighter. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was just like, um, first of all, Small thing. I know Zoe be popping up on you all the time, but be fucking for real. Because she would have heard that. Up. Why would she sit up there? She was the way. Exactly. She, exactly. Why was she sitting like that like, on her ankles? <laughs> no, a bigger question with the mimic. The mimic can't get shit right, right? Why I get that wig right? <laughs> I was done at that point. I wouldn't even. It, 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 was late. <laughs> it was late a little better. It was late a bit better. It was already so bad. It didn't have to try Some that. Some bullshit right. out of Rob. <laughs> <laughs> that was the history he said. <laughs> he said, no, nah, I ain't about to have me fucked up, bitch. <laughs> no, but ankles don't heal that fast. Right. At all. Like, Especially what are you, not you, that swollen. Like, no. Nah. What do you say? Golf ball? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
On the way to the mines, Nico almost ran into the back of Max's truck. Upon realizing Zoe ain't come to the mines and he talked to the mimic and not Zoe, he steals Nico's keys and goes back to the house with Camille, trying to explain to her on the way there that there is a po- imposter among them. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Wow. First of all, Camille, I'm with you, girl, because why well, couldn't HJB Anderson Cooper? Because I would have been for that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look. Had it been Anderson Literally Cooper, cool. <laughs> no. Don't get me started on the Como brothers, because Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Just literally anyone else. Someone interesting. Bring us a celebrity. I'm like, okay, Meatball, I see you. <laughs> yeah. I... What was the liquid? That was my question. Like that was the around liquid. The house. Yeah, I like that. I think it was just something the mark. I think it was supposed to imitate like the circle, like just a boundary. And once they cross it, that's it, bitch. That's your ass. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking um, of that liquid. But also, then- wait, time out though. Why? And somebody answered me because I could be wrong, I could be exaggerating. Why it take them so fucking long to get back? It don't seem like it took them that long to get there. Yeah. I it don't took know them if so they long to late. get back. It was because, okay, when they got there, I assume like they got up early in the morning, but it seemed like the sun was kind of out when he was talking to Zoe or yeah. Imposter Zoe. And then they got to the place and then they and it was back. dark. Now, when they got there, it looked like it was getting dark. That was kind of weird. Yeah. yeah, okay. I just didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it was I think cloudy. they left kind of late. Out. Okay, okay. Thanks. But that was my thing. Like, why would you want to go to the mines when it's going dark outside? Like, that's weird shit. <laughs> Who knows? They were there so, with people shooting, so they're crazy. clearly not concerned about safety. So. <laughs> they make it back to the house, and it's all turned upside down and decorated weird as fuck. All of their friendship bracelets are hanging where they unalive themselves. I was just like, um, first of all, how dare y'all his men copy paranormal activity two and three. Um, <laughs> No, I'm just playing. I'm playing. Listen, I'm playing. That's that, what I thought about. I, yeah. You can say what you want about Hisman, but that motherfucker gave them some creative ass unalivings. I was like, oh, look. What? Okay, I let's was talk like, about it. God, let's the bathtub, bitch. What was so that? Butcher the, thing, knife? the cleaver was, in the garden was was disposal. The, yeah. I was like, doing in the. <laughs> what? That's not nice. But like, the, damn. That, like they probably so, whoever I don't because I couldn't see whose bracelet was where I couldn't see all that info, but it seemed like whoever had the garbage disposal. It the seemed bracelet was like, taken from the the faucet. Yeah, and it seemed like maybe they used the cleaver to like cut. That's what I would have thought. I don't fucking know. Then you had somebody Whoa. who had a fork in the outlet, so they got <laughs> shot. <laughs> there was a noose. I was like, yeah, in the closet. Yeah. Oh yes. That was a lot. That was a choice. <laughs> and then the toaster in the tub. Yeah. They were fucking them up. They had to fucking yeah. them I'm still kind of confused about Zoe's little joint. Like, I seen the camera and the mirror and like. The I think she must have cut herself yeah, with the mirror shard. Herself. Or I was thinking, at first, I was thinking that was something later, but no, I've realized it, we seen it earlier in the movie. So that wasn't that. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because it seemed like she was like bleeding. I don't know what she did. <laughs> she did something. It's just super special. Yeah. It's very creepy. And it's like the whole third act is just so good. Yeah, like, it's ramped up. Them the even the history like tormenting them with the voices, that is so fucked up. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. and it's crazy because the- uh they say that well I know we haven't gotten here yet. But one of the things that they say earlier in the movie, the history repeats it again, but it's already happened. But we'll get to it in a second. Mm -hmm. So outside, Camilla finds fake Zoe. And as Evan is trying to get Camille away from her, the others come home and Max runs up on Evan until Zoe gets to act a weird and then Vanessa slits her forearms. As they try to get her into the house, the mimic reveals its true form and that they look like an alien. (laughs) And like I was saying earlier, this is who I'm talking about because I can't remember. They were like hiking. I think this was like the second day maybe. And they were talking about like the NRA fanboy group. And they was like, it's okay uh-huh. if, anything, 
it would be Vanessa. Vanessa would be the first to die. And I was like, damn, Vanessa, look, you're the first one in this canon of five people. It's fucked mm. up. Oh, no, it was, yeah, Zoe. Zoe would be the first to die. Mm-hmm. Did they say Vanessa? They said Vanessa. Oh, they yeah. Vanessa, yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> Messed up. Yeah, but sucks. also this in <laughs> this is where like Re said the movie ramps up, but it also pissed me off. Y'all just needed to show me his man one time. That first mm-hmm. time y'all showed him was the only time I needed to see him. Because that second okay, time yeah. y'all showed him and it kept phasing into everybody's faces, <laughs> I didn't no. care anymore and I was over. It. <laughs> yeah, and then it like showed their hands like changing with the mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, like yeah, I wasn't. Didn't, yeah. I was like, no, we could have kept that. We could have kept that. If anything, like, you could have just like, got me with the voices and the rattles. Yeah, we could have just I was about kept to say it that. that. Like the sound design of them, like, first of all, them in like the alive characters inside mm-hmm. and having them to have the voices surround them and like literally I mean, that's what people say that flesh pedestrians do, mm-hmm. that they mimic voices to lure you out. But then the sound design of us being outside and them inside is also fucking great like it's yeah. so haunting and like disturbing like because we don't see anything i mean neither times only unaliving we actually see is vanessa which is still like a lot mm-hmm. and um yeah because then everything else is implied by like like we just like y'all just ran through like the everything they found around the house and then the literal sounds that we hear from outside when Evan is trying to get everybody to stop. It's so Bruh, sad. that was too much. That was yeah, that was a lot. And like, I love, like you said, I love that we don't see any of it. Like you just yeah. hear everything, and you can hear the struggle in his voice. He is really trying to get everybody to stop. Even <laughs> Max as Max been meaning you to. <laughs> I probably just would have let him do it. I'm like, okay, yeah, you keep going. But the rest of y'all, Nico, put that bleach down. Listen, listen, Nico with that motherfucking bleach was chugging it like like a champ. This motherfucker hit that shit. Oh, I said, God, knock it out of his hands. No, right? Oh, my God. Because I just, I can't imagine. That has to be a nightmare. I can just 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 met these people. Yeah. Like, We've spent a week together. We've been blonde bonding. Yeah. Like, okay. We smoked. Uh, we drank. Oh, okay, we smoked. <laughs> you <and> me, <laughs> so what confused me was Vanessa was already dead. So yeah, why I was she? It was a shock. They were just doing shock. stuff. Maybe just because the his she was just fucking with him because it can't assimilate. <laughs> because think about because I know we kind of went past this. Think about when Haley came back and was knocking on the door. That wasn't Haley. And Haley mm-hmm. was already, they had already died. We just never saw the bodies, which is crazy. But they had already died. But he knew if he used, well, it, they knew if they used Haley, they could get to Nico and mm-hmm. they get to everybody else. And because they, the first time Haley came to the window, Nico was strong. But that second time she came to the window and then whatever else came up behind her, which I still think it was all fake. That was mm-hmm. worse. I was like, Nico, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it's about to cry. Yeah, I got some girlfriend hearts. out there. Y'all yeah, got a lot of yeah, hearts. Some... Because mm. let me tell y'all, some people I just met, <laughs> I wouldn't have gave a fuck. <laughs> oh no. I'd have been like, damn, you gonna drink that bleach? I right, bet. I'ma try to find a way out of here. Let me yeah. why y'all are a little busy because it's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. going. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but this, I mean, everyone's acting is, like, solid. Yeah. Or, I, I mean, agree. not that it's intense, but they're really good, like, mm-hmm. for the range that they have to show. I, where is this, where is Evan from? I feel like I've seen him in something else, and I, I know it's not Bob Yeah, same. I looked at his, dis- well, not, well, I looked at his work. I didn't see anything, but I'm like, I know that face, and I don't know why I know that face. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen any of that. Yeah. Let's look up TV. Yeah, that's very weird. He looks, I and mean, I feel like he looks like Elliot from Bye Bye Man, and that's what I'm. <laughs> yeah. I love Bye Bye Man, and he does. Oh my God, we need to do 
another crossover episode for that. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, me, because one thing was so, <laughs> Bye Bye Man is so terrible, but it is so fun. That that I don't is. care. Like, right. And the extended version adds a little more mm-hmm. context. If, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like those movies, I feel like they look related. They're like each other just have birds. But anyway, uh, yeah. Can we talk about the dread I felt for Evan when he ran out into the mm-hmm. yard and seen the villa mirrored? I would have been like, what the? No. I don't really know. This has to be a dream. Like, <laughs> no. Because what? How does yeah. that even work? It's definitely giving like the other mother, the other world where they mm-hmm. just make it as far as you need to see it. Like, yeah, oh, I just it's terrifying. I just would have had to kill myself. I would have had to take myself out the game. I mean, we that's what they about... want. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, well, you got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, you want. You got it. Come on, because <laughs> no, it's kind of remind. Right, the 2004. A movie called Coherence. Oh yeah, yeah, it does have a lot of that kind of like going to see, testing the waters. That one's good too. That one's another one you could watch after this. Yeah, this movie really reminds me of that. Just got that out of nowhere. <laughs> when Evan decides to call his brother, I was like, see, <laughs> I bet you wish you had to took your ass home now. Right. <laughs> And he doesn't answer the phone, like, and that's what, like, you, so he won't answer the phone or call you, but he'll just pull up. Like, you yeah. couldn't even call me to be like, I'm on the way, do you need anything? Like, didn't he who, call him? Did, he I called know, him, though. But I don't know, because it said unknown. I would feel like, like, damn, you hate your brother that much, you don't save his number? Right. Because <laughs> I did, I was trying to figure out who, I thought it was Peyton calling him, but I think it said unknown caller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe that was even just the history testing. If he yeah. would like call like, back. Let me see if I could do this. <laughs> the fucking sucks. Poor Peyton. And I mean, we just know he, him and his biking buddies about to get it. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. So what happens is like, um, Evan goes into the shed. He called Peyton. He's fucking crying. He's so sorry. He's being a dick to his brother. And Pastor Zoe ass just walks in here. Evan, honey, I just want to thank it. Because you fucking know. You know that's not Zoe. So Zoe hands him a lighter. Evan lights it. Evan fucking sets himself on fire inside the damn shed. Peyton gets there. Peyton don't check his fucking phone. Peyton actually is just now getting the voicemails. When he sees his lighter, the ho- first of all, time out. The house is pristine. Yeah. I, I have never seen a cleaner house. I need the Hissman <laughs> cleaning service, okay? Okay. <laughs> that motherfucker can clean. That was oh, no. immaculate was work. <laughs> For what took Probably place in work. that house last night, I would have never known. This was mm-hmm. like in an American Psycho when that <laughs> apartment got cleaned. Mm-hmm. It was and, like that that. Real, and that realtor refused to acknowledge what the fuck had happened. He's like, girl, ain't nobody see that shit. Moves. I got a place to sell you in the way. But anyway, <laughs> as soon as Peyton is about to listen to the voicemails, Evan pops up and we see this pale green eyed man. And we're just like, oh shit. What you mean everybody left? They just left you in the Airbnb. That's unbelievable. You white people right. y'all are trusting. Because I would never. Right. If I put the deposit down on this bitch, you better believe I'm the last one leaving. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. That's five minutes left. (laughs) Anyone saying shit, because I know how I left it. Um, But yeah, and I mean, we know that it's good old Mr. Hiskey, because they also called him Hiskey. (laughs) Like, Mm -hmm. whatever he was trying to explain. That's what it is. (laughs) It's Mr. Hiskey because the, I mean it opens the same way that it ends like so we open literally with a shot in Evan's blue eyes mm-hmm. but we know they're blue so yeah now that they're green like Mr. Hiskey's yeah I wonder if like, we'll ever get a sequel for this because I'm like I'm, I, I'm interested it just depends, like, because, you know, some movies like this, when they get sequels, 
sometimes they do too much and it ruins it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can see that being a thing for this movie, but I don't know. But I would be interested in seeing another one. Yeah, I could be. I don't know. I guess it could go oculus -y if they wanted to like oh, yeah. go further later, like even on down the line further and have just the montage of all these people include Evan and his brother. I mean, they could even like just have a pan of bikers go missing because we know what's happening next. Bikers go missing <laughs> in the fucking desert right. in California all the time. So that kind of thing, that could be interesting if someone just was investigating, got caught up. But yeah, it'd be interesting. But I do like this as a self-contained story because, like, there's a lot of, like, unanswered things. Like, how can it control <laughs> yeah. the electricity and all that kind of stuff? Mm -hmm. like, and I guess but... I can, like, reveal that in my rating, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Nay. And that was, um, whatever the name of this movie is called, Head Count. <laughs> um... <laughs> Ratings. This movie had a 5.4 out of 10 on IMDb, a 68% on Rotten Tomatoes, a 48% on Metacritic, and 74% of Google users like this movie. Interesting. Hmm. That's fair. By the way, I'm laughing at these two, but they don't know I'm laughing at them. <laughs> I'm trying to see who gonna go first, and I'm looking at them like it's one of y'all. <laughs> You know, generally the host doesn't go first, so. <laughs> nah, homie, sometimes y'all make me go first when I'm the host. But I, you know what? I volunteered. No, you chose to go first when you was the host. Nobody make you go first. <laughs> if you ever notice when me and Ashley host, we go last. I even volunteered as tribute to go this time, and you still wanted to make me be, you know, wrong. It's okay. <laughs> okay, you could just let me go. <laughs> You could just let me go. Just I can't let you make inaccurate statements, but continue. First of all, they're not inaccurate in my head. It's how the events happen. <laughs> it's not my fault. I took the word a little differently. <laughs> right? The movie. A little. Okay. I would have to say it was an okay movie. Um, The wig. The wig. <laughs> I wish we could say the wig five times and get a fucking <laughs> wig entity that comes and fixes people's fucking hair. The wig, the wig, the wig, the wig, the wig. That's what the fuck we need every time I see this shit. Yes, um, this is surprising because normally I don't dislike films like this. This is normally my warehouse, but I, something didn't click. Something didn't click with me. I'll, the ending was the best part and it took too long to get them. For that... This film gets 43 tickets. Well, 43? 40, 43, yes. Well. Four mm. and a three. Y'all, y'all gave me shit. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna give <laughs> nothing no bad rating. Y'all are like, be free. I'm like, all right, I'll be free. This is really how I feel. <laughs> how I feel. Um, out of a hundred? Hell yeah, it can get 43. Dang. <laughs> My my damn notes kept circling back to the wig. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they gave a character. Yeah. yeah, you know, we'll let our guests go next. I'm gonna give it like a 70. 70. Like a 74. 74. 74. Because I mean, the cinematography is good, score is good. Like I just said, it's just so fun. That last act, I do feel like things happen, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I feel like Camille is the only one noticing them until the big reveal. And, and not saying nothing. You know, <laughs> at all. Yeah. You say, like, that was weird. Moving on. <laughs> um, shots and whiskey. And that was another thing. They said they only had tequila and then she brought out the cinnamon whiskey. But, like, okay. Uh, yeah, that's me 74. It's a fun watch when I would visit. It's just creepy, weird. I love, like I said, I love internet, urban legends type things. So, mm -hmm. so it's going to win with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just give it a solid, just an 80. Solid 80. And it is because, like, 
they just executed everything just very well. And like, if this was low budget, like this is this is a great film. Like, but I don't know. Like, if this was like <clears throat> everybody dumping millions into this shit, <laughs> it would be like, you know, not nah, it, it wouldn't live yeah. up to anything. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just just the sounds alone, just the I guess generic uh whatever scary stuff. They just did it so well, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, solid eighty. Solid eighty. The <laughs> finale was great and just you know when things are like when you pay attention once Zoe like uh falls off the cliff. You know, it is like kinda slow, you know, the finale is the best part, but like that's that's when I started to click in really. Um so you know. <laughs> For me, obviously, I really like this movie. Not knowing what I was getting into when I first saw it just makes it a treat. And y'all know any movie I can rewatch and rewatch and rewatch, I'm in for it. And also, like I said, low budget movie, big results. I thought it was a hit. I love showing people this movie. My only <laughs> issues with it is the power of the history or Hisman, sorry. Because it seems like with certain people, they're trying to figure out how to assimilate and they don't really know how to blend in, but they still hide in plain <laughs> sight. But other versions have like memories of shit. Like this Hisman that's with Peyton now has memories of them and is aware of shit. And the yeah. Zoe Hisman was aware of different things. Max, but the yeah. other ones didn't really have a lot of awareness of themselves, but you know, they get enough to blend in. So with that being said, I'm gonna give it 83 tickets. Mm -hmm. Um, For me, it was okay. And I gave this movie 40 tickets. (laughs) It's like, I can't like, (laughs) both of y'all gave it in the 40s and I'm just like, am I hyping this up? (laughs) <laughs> I, can't believe, I can't believe it was in the same scale on this one because normally we're like either. far yeah. the fuck off. That's why I was like, I really had, I had no idea where the chips were gonna lie. But um, you know what? It's fine. like so when I first finished it, I was like, okay, forty ticket. Then when I watched it again, I was like, yeah, I, I there's no changing. And then like talking to you guys, it's still the needle never moves. <laughs> Because so, sometimes conversation it, boring you. No, sometimes it does happen. Like, the conversation <laughs> no, no, I get like, it. Sway me, you know. But, you no, know. I get it. Because y'all was about to sway me. I'm like, I'm not lowering my score for y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love this movie. I really do. And mm-hmm. like I said, no, anytime I hear scores, I'm not like, oh my God, you idiot. You score different. No, 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 no. It's never that. I just want to know the why. That's all I mm-hmm. want to know. Like, tell me why. You didn't mess with this movie. Tell me what itched your ass so much that you. Was <laughs> I mean, it was it just like stuff. it was just okay. Uh-huh. To me. Oh no, it's I'm saying like, in general. I'm not saying you right now, but I'm saying in general. <laughs> it was. I'm just saying it was just okay. Like I want to know more than that. I want to know past. It. <laughs> I want to know. You was like, you know what? That CJ was fucking terrible. I don't like the way this character did this shit because that was fucking mm-hmm. stupid. Why would you do that? That's what I be wanting to know. It was the wig. We know, See, okay. we know for me it wasn't we, we like the wig wasn't like a deciding factor for me it was just like when I finished <laughs> the movie it was just like okay <laughs> okay yeah. and I mean I, honestly for me it was more than the wig but I really like Peyton and I hate how he got dealt the little fucked up ass card you just not want to give Peyton some sympathy plus so, the best, you know, okay, not, the in, best. not in this life not in you this just this like Peyton not in this <laughs> Just say you like Peyton. You it's just, just like Peyton. John A. like that one dude in that one terrible ass movie. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So the best scene in this movie for me was the Sam mimic scene. That was the best scene in the movie. Other than that, that, it was just like, okay. Yeah. The mimic well, was fun. The people weren't. There was two people in this movie. Like I even wrote in the beginning, there are too many people. They need gory deaths. I didn't get my gory deaths. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have this the movie had that kind of budget for that. You, okay. The way the movie started, you knew that this shit had no budget. Okay. Listen, I you knew that blue screen, <laughs> the blue screen with the hand cursive going across it. I was like, what the fuck? From that, I knew they had no money. But 
<laughs> they could have did something. They could have killed the motherfuckers. They saved the budget by not killing anybody on screen. Yeah, that's what they had to do. We got to okay now. They could have saved the no, money with that. With that, you got to appreciate that type of creativeness because last week we weren't talking that shit when they was doing it in Devil when we weren't seeing the dust and they was doing them jump cuts. So pick and cho- what what on uh what's her name on Helene? Pick and choose. Pick and choose. That's, that's what it sounds like. That's what, is, what I'm what doing. Is, what does security guard Daniel say? <clears throat> All I hear is criticize, <laughs> criticize, <laughs> criticize. <laughs> like I just, With that being said, let's dip out to the souvenir shop, okay? I can't wait for souvenirs. Thanks for writing. Before you go, take a detour into the souvenir shop. Oh, you got one. What is it? I always have one. What do you mean? I don't. Sorry. <laughs> Here your idea. Sorry. Like you're just trying to make me an imposter now? I know. I, I, I dropped that long time. I didn't even bring nothing up. But now that you said it, you looking kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, Nay. I see what that facial expression. Her facial expression. She's, She's ready to go to bed. Right. She's ready to go. I'm trying to hurry up for my good sister. She's breathe. trying to breathe. You the one slowing the process up. Tell me your souvenir. Okay. I would like props and I would like a flaming fork. <laughs> then how are we going to make a flaming fork work in the in the park? It's not really this, on fire. It, it do got, not it have got, insurance. Listen, <laughs> you know how you got the little stoppers that you do for the stop kids from getting into plugs? Yeah. Well, this one we got it's look, it looks like a little fork, and when you plug it in, and that's how you know it's working, is that it lights up. <laughs> so, so like when little Timmy go gets a regular fork, yeah. and in, y'all it's can't breathe. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not my problem. Sometimes you shouldn't have things if you have kids. This is <laughs> one of them. <laughs> Um, oh, that's souvenir, reality. <laughs> my souvenir for this movie, you guys remember that toy we played with when we were little? You, it's like a set of binoculars, but it has those like slider discs in it, and it like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I would get one of those, but like I don't know what the disc would be. It would be something that the mimics things together, changing yeah. the people. Yeah, yeah, like something <laughs> like that. See, John, a, she was with me. She was in my head. That's what. I mean. But the lenses are going to be like that weird greenish color, green blue color. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can give everybody green contacts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I did that one year for Halloween. Right. <laughs> Somebody tell marketing to call me because I really want that fork idea to go through. No, girl, <laughs> you're lucky that marketing not banning you again. Exactly, because you've been good lately, but you're pushing it. This is the push. <laughs> Mine was a safety tool this time. No. <laughs> All right. Oh Y'all ready for these park announcements? Let's go. <laughs> that was three out of four episodes for our December theme, There's an Imposter Among Us. Before we go, I want to thank Dank and Dadly for joining <laughs> us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all for inviting us. This was really fun. We love oh. this movie. It's always a good time with you guys. If, <laughs> right. I don't know how because we talk about it all the time and post it on our page at Nausea. But if you have not, please go listen to our two episodes with them on the invitation and Karis Hill. But yeah. <laughs> tell Karis them one Hale, more time. Man. Hey, hey, you you secretly like that movie. Hush, you know you you secretly yeah, like right. it. Okay, like okay, she be front like she ain't like it. She liked it. Tell right. tell the survivors <laughs> one more time where they can find you. Oh gosh, you can find us on Instagram at dankdeadly underscore pod and on Twitter at dank the letter in deadly underscore pod and anywhere you listen to podcasts. That's where we are. So yeah, thank you all again. This was really fun. And we always Never love a these. Problem. Never. <laughs> yeah, we love hanging out with y'all in the park or in the hot box, wherever. Yeah. You know. <laughs> okay. We gotta spray before we go back in because producers gonna be tripping. So. <laughs> 
actually he might like it. he might think it might make for good content so you know <laughs> <laughs> okay survivors <laughs> you can catch us at the park on social media at d180 podcast on instagram twitter and tiktok Oh, you two for two. Good she job. was leading. Good she job. was ready. Good girl. <laughs> Boom. You, know, you so good, Coco. <laughs> Look at that little smile. You so cute. Oh. I got it. I got it right, y'all. You did it. <laughs> All right. Now say bye bye to the people. We'll see them next week. We'll be right back. Bye bye. This month's theme. <laughs> oh, you weren't going to let me finish my sentence, day. Right. You told me to say bye. I wasn't but done. But she was still talking. I didn't know. Say bye. <laughs> They'll find out later. Say bye. No, you just finished. Just just go ahead and redo it. I'm sorry. I said, <laughs> tell the people bye when we see them in our next episode, wrapping <laughs> up our theme for the month, the faculty. Now say bye. She cut her camera off. She'd have left the bar. All right. Well, the, cam- the recording is cutting <laughs> off. You better bye, say bye. Y'all. Bye bye. <laughs>